Hey guys. Wait, wait. Are we streaming yet? I don't see it on mine. I don't see it on mine yet. There it is. I see me. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the pre show, boys. Here we go. Oh, we got... yeah. Oh, Get it. <laughs> hey, hey. It's going to be a good show. I, I'm pretty psyched about our guest tonight. We have Syndicate, we have Redneck, we have Wings of Redemption, and we have me. Who we don't have is Kyle. But um, uh, Kyle's off at PAX. He's doing, um, I don't know, a bunch of business stuff and who knows what. So, uh, so yeah, uh, F Kyle. <laughs> we'll get him again soon. <laughs> I hope he don't have to go through a metal detector. God almighty. Oh, God. <laughs> Never easy. Could be a SWAT team called out to PAX. <laughs> I can see it now. Some of oh. y'all over the news. So, Is Kyle yeah. on Cod XP? Yes. So I did a, oh, um, awesome. a meetup with uh, Shay Carl and Freddie Wong. This is like three months ago at the South Point Mall. And uh, Kyle saw that I was going because I tweeted it out. And he was right about to, uh, to hop in his car, grab an AK-47, and go all the way to um, <laughs> go all the way to the, to, um, uh, the you know, Durham Mall or the South Point Mall. And yeah, he was going to show up with an AK-47 strapped on his back, which is actually legal here. But, I was yeah. just about to say, would he actually get away with that? <laughs> yeah, you in the can UK, do it. you'd probably be shot on site. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Different up there. So, all right, That's so crazy. we're having some voice cracking issues. So, give me a moment to uh, to make some adjustments to the stream and see if I can make it better. Uh, sure thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anything the, uh, but that. A, a redneck from the UK is probably, I think, you'd say Liverpool. I, I got a joke for you. Cool. I got a, I got a great joke for you. All right. What so do you we're call? Streaming. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> All right. I wasn't right. sure the nature of the joke he was about to <laughs> yeah, tell. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. All right, let's hear I'll your wait. joke. What do you? Since he's talking about Liverpool, what do you call a man wearing a suit in Liverpool? The so accused. No. <laughs> the accused. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The good joke. <laughs> I've got some good friends up in Liverpool, and actually, most of them are directors. Uh, and I like one or two, well, good friends, and I one or two, really. Uh, we should be all meeting up because there's like, you know, you've all got like, you know, packs and all that awesome stuff over there in America. We've got like one like one thing in the UK, which is like Game Fest at the moment. Which one? Was uh, that the one in Germany? Uh, no, that's uh, GamesCon. Uh, it's like, it's nothing, no scale up to that. It's probably going to be like maybe a, hundred, a few hundred people there, if that, but. Me and uh, some of the directors are trying to make it, you know, like a bigger turnout. So we're going to go down there. There's quite a few of us, like me, my HD gamer, Fair Crads might be going if he's back from Florida in time. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be going down there and uh, just parting it up there in the night. I'm, and, uh, I'm telling you, there. he might not come back from Florida. <laughs> hey guys, I'm guessing he's actually going to stay. Yeah. I'm hearing that, the, uh, he that the stream is laggy. So give it a refresh. Refresh the page and tell me how it goes. I'd love to have this resolved for the actual show. Yeah, have you got a quality thing as well? Oh, yeah, it just says live. All right. Because mine just says, like, when you know when I stream, you can put it in 720p, and then it just says, like, it's no lag whatsoever when they put it in like that, in that mood. I have 360 and 240. But the, the trouble is that when I – I think it's a USB bandwidth thing. My mic and my uh -huh. uh, USB camera use the same hub, and uh, sometimes when I put forth too much quality on the camera, my voice gets crackly. So that's that's not good. Right, the okay. audio is more important than just me sitting here in a chair. Have you always been on the camera in PKs? No. Like all no. the time, it's always been you. Longest, so first, our first like 30 episodes maybe, we didn't have a, a live show at all. The PK was just a recorded thing that we put out another day. And then um, huh. uh, then maybe for the next whatever, 30, I uh, we'd have a black screen there. And there was just nothing to see. It was, you know. But it was like live audio and you could interact with the audience and stuff. And only recently have I started putting my own audio on there because I think it's preferable to nothing. And we were supposed to do the connect thing. Oh, nice. We never got going. Yeah, that's a neat idea too. Uh, the, connect has actual like a podcast application and uh, the camera uh -huh. watches you and like does stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, I just um, forget the camera's there, man. I just be like... <laughs> Go and play that, zombies or something. And look like oh, dude, I'm nasty. like deathly afraid I'm gonna pick my nose or something on camera. Like, <laughs> like just one day, yeah. You know, oh, and then, no. you know, and then it's it's gonna oh, be, no. um, it, it's gonna go wild. Like people are gonna talk about. You it so constantly. know my dad would walk in and just like punch me straight in the face. He'd be like, "What? He's streaming to th seven thousand people." Just runs in and like punches me in the back of the head. Start <laughs> de start using dental floss and using a monitor like to see your teeth with. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're right. Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> um, so I keep hearing to turn the audio up, and um, it, it's up pretty high. I can. Seems sounds good to me. I just listened to it back again. Turn oh, your just... shit up. There's a volume yeah. button on your computer. Well, yeah, but oh, it, what, what they might be saying, now. like sometimes when they say Woody, turn your audio up, they mean Woody, everybody's audio is good, but yours. So if if that's the case, oh, I'm, I'm here. Your mic is really fine. clear. Like yeah, I've just got like a, a really cheap microphone, but it, if it sounds clear, it's, it's a really good microphone compared to other ones I've used. I've, I got like a you know like a, an upgrade from a Snowball, which is a Yeti, and mm -hmm. I got that. And it's so bad. It's like a, a $200 microphone, and it's the worst one I have ever possibly used because I've got a computer, and how much noise that makes, it just picks it up so loudly. It's unbelievable. It just ruins a commentary. I've, I've just started. The, so so what that is called is a um, – I think it, it's classified as a cheap condenser mic, which is actually what I'm using right now. And uh, um, what's cool about a cheap condenser mic is that it picks up everything. I have a tendency when I commentate, especially when I start thinking – to get kind of quiet and drift off a little bit and then pick it up again. And when I used my Astro Boom mic, it didn't pick that up. When I use this thing, it picks up everything. The downside is like every mouse click, every keyboard touch, you know, sometimes even just rubbing my fingers on the desk, it picks that up as well. I picked up another All mic, right. which is, I think it's a dynamic mic. And uh, um, that's what I've been using for my commentaries lately. And I'm really happy with it, but you have to get right on top of it. I bet I could get it in camera. It's on a boom here. Can you guys see this? <laughs> so this, is, this is my. Is that yeah. the microphone? You've got a boom for your, your yeah. microphone. <laughs> so this is this is my get commentary wounded. mic, but you have to stay right on top of it to get the audio properly. And that is uh, absolutely crazy. Yeah, man, I, I do this up for real. So uh, so for the podcast, I use this guy <laughs> because it's nice. I don't have to stay right on top of it and do this yeah, the whole time to be heard. But uh, that's really clear when you're close to it. It gets a little yeah. boomy, like especially if I get loud. It like, like this sounds kind of okay, but if I get excited, then it, it goes all crazy. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what I like about it is it can pick me up from a foot away, and and that's kind of cool. So I've got some already. Everyone's wobbing in the comments, so you can't really yeah. read what everyone's saying. It's just what pure is wobbing? wobbing? Is this a syndicate? I thing? can't tell if he stuck his nose in it or his tongue. <laughs> oh come on you know i licked it oh That's what we... <laughs> lick it <laughs> so, uh, i'm watching the delay i'm about to lick it there it is oh it happened <laughs> i have a, a i have a long tongue i um do you guys you guys want to see my tongue <laughs> all right so at the moment there's a problem with the skype call and you can only hear me so uh, a solution to that might be to get wings to host the skype call uh, we'll see uh, it, it should come back in a minute <laughs> so <laughs> what is wobbing can can so while we wait for the skype call to come back can you guys explain what wobbing is oh the call is over so it's dropped Hey, say to get. How's it going? I was just like, oh wow, I just give, it just got booted. No, so on Can my screen. Can you hear me now? I yeah, that's you. better. On my okay, screen, so. it the little red box came up and said there were problems with this call, and usually yeah, it just sort of self recovers and I don't know. Yeah, you, or so. who were you talking to then? Because you looked like you were just there talking. I was like, right. I was, I, I was trying I to one? keep the stream engaged. <laughs> oh, all, right. <laughs> we, we, all right, fair enough. Uh, all right, awesome. What about, have yeah. we got wings? Uh, no, wings we haven't got him. Can't only get guy him. we don't have so. Trying him again. All right. Um, nice. No, this call failed. 
Josh, Someone says I look me? bad today. Man, it is incredibly hot in this room, and I can't really rock the ceiling fan like I'd like to because uh, it makes noise on my mic. So, uh, Dude, this is like a dream setup. You've got a ceiling fan. I, I haven't even got a fan. I need a fan. Really? I made this whole room, man. I made. I, I I tore out like the flooring. I tore out everything, and then I installed hardwood. I put. There's a bed above me. You can hear me tap on it. I have like the boom mic. This desk that I'm on. I made it in my workshop. I, uh, <laughs> like if you can look in the camera, like that television is recessed in the wall. I'll, I'll move my chair. There's that like is. a. Like an entertainment oh, wait, center. Oh, see the reflection of the. Um... You, you see wait, my. Is that um... what you said in the bed above you. <laughs> there's a bed above me. Yeah. There's um. What? It, That's in that, so good. You can see built into the wall. There's like a computer yeah. and an Xbox, a PS3. There's a um like a network attack storage and stuff like that. Like I put that whole thing together and behind that wall is the. Uh, Would it? I'm the not steps. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> the steps that go up to my attic, <laughs> and uh, like it. All that equipment takes a lot of space. Like if it were sitting in, it's a really yeah. a pretty small room. It's only like twelve by that's twelve a, or something. That's a really good way to keep all your wires hidden away as well, isn't it? it yeah, it's super. I should I should do another setup because it's looks been like a such while. Such a mess compared to that. I've got like a really small desk and like with my chair. I've got like a really comfy chair, but I never like fully lean back on it. So I, I look forward and because when you when I live stream, you know, you can see me as well. So mm -hmm. I always look like I'm slouching forward when I should just be like chilling back in a full like. Uh -huh. It's like it's really really similar to your chair. Yeah, well, I'm like, actually I just crazy about my chair. I uh, I was looking at chairs recently, but I um, see here's the here's the dilemma I always run into when purchasing things. Right, on one side there is that buy it nice or buy it twice type thing, where you know I could get a cheap chair and then I won't be happy with it, and I'll get another chair. Yeah. And the most expensive way to get like a pimp six hundred dollar chair is to buy a two hundred dollar chair, then a four hundred dollar chair, then a six hundred dollar chair. <laughs> yeah. and, and before long yeah. you're twelve hundred dollars into it and you pay twice as much as you had to. So uh, but then I look at this chair and I'm like, man, this is if you maybe you guys have never worked in like an office, but when you buy like a like a when you work at an office, typically uh, we're, you're provided with like nice office chairs because they know people are going to be sitting at them like eight, twelve hours a day, five days a week and and they get you the good stuff. So anyway, I want a chair that's not like home office quality, but like, you know, Fortune 500 quality. And uh, I just haven't pulled the trigger on. Wings, you're making a lot of noise. Yeah, I was going to say, he's someone like wrestling with something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's even by his mic. He's just is it, is opening it? packages, maybe? So, uh, um, I think he must be. Anyway, yeah, so, so I... So you'd uh, say, like, buy, buy, like, all the different ones and then just be like, all right, this one's the best and take that. But no, what I do is I'll like buy a cheap one thinking it'll be good enough, and then a medium one thinking it's good enough, and then in the end I've yeah. you know, really spent way too much money on it. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I I was looking at better chairs and you know looking around and looking around, and I just couldn't pull the trigger on it because I'm being frugal like that. So yeah, I'm uh, fat ass. I w I went seven hundred deep on my chair. <laughs> uh, see, but yeah. on the other hand, do you like your chair? Yeah. I've Dude, I bought that exact chair you're sitting in. It was like, what, $100 polypropylene arms. Broke that bitch at the joint three different times. I'm like, <laughs> fuck this. I'm not buying a cheap chair again. I'm going to get me a chair capable of holding my fat ass and it's comfortable enough that the fucking cushions do not wear out to the point where I'm sitting on a piece of metal where a cushion used to yeah. be. It's a leather chair. A leather chair. Yeah, think. that chair he sits in right there, the cushion will fucking flatten out within like a week's time and mm -hmm. it'll be like, the, the, like the, the width of a paper and it just never reinflates there are four bolts yeah. that hold the cushion to the i guess the base of the chair and those four bolts stick up through the cushion and poke me in the rear poke you in the ass <laughs> uh <-huh. Yep>. they <laughs> do <laughs> i know what you're talking about i have one, right one then, time because my, my chair's Let me all tell right you, it's really quit being frugal a chair is something that you use all the fucking time it's just like people do the same thing with beds they will not spend money on a bed. It's like, well, I sleep. But you got to understand, you, I spend most of my day in my chair. I spend half my life in my bed. Why not have something I'm comfortable in? Yeah. It's a syndicate. Nice I know you bed. said you're light and your chair is fine. But this chair I'm in, like, you could literally exhaust all the cushion by, like, pushing your thumb down. Like, you know, you can hit the bolts and stuff. It's uh, not, yeah, yeah. It's not a matter of, like, uh, human weight. It's just a bad I'm, chair. I'm sitting here at 350 pounds, and my chair cushion, you know, it's almost a year later – it's still as soft as I bought it. See, I, I think Wings had it right. Now, the, what's going to happen is I'm going to buy a chair like in the same class as Wing, except I'll have bought that six, seven hundred dollar chair and a two hundred dollar chair it's that's like now in the trash heap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least it be comfy. <laughs> I, I need to get a really comfy bed because, like, when I go to sleep at night, you know, because my sleep pattern is so messed up. Because you know, like you Americans, like 
uh, most of the directors who I speak whoa, whoa. To are American. Whoa, what does that mean? You no, no, American. Like yeah, American. dude, you're racist. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Holy kidding. smokes. <laughs> Bonks, they're doing animated syndicate racist American thing on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard <laughs> like, you went as... <laughs> I'm oh, playing with God. you. Oh, no, my no, God. It's like, everyone, like, most of the people I speak to, you know, like, speaking, speaking to people, you know, whether it be through Machinima, you know, whoever, you know, like, directors, oh, in America, so it really messes up my time schedule. So, like, I'm going to bed <laughs> at 7 o'clock in the morning and getting up at 7 o'clock at night. You know, like my sleep schedule is so messed up, and but I need to get it back hours? on track. Yeah, I can sleep easily twelve hours. Not yeah. e not every day though. My dad usually just like comes in and just like grabs him and like drags me out of bed, and then I like come in with a <laughs> sure. cup of water and throw it on me, and then I just. Do you your dad? You <laughs> Does your dad upset that you probably make more money than him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can, you, you should be like your dad. Take that to trash. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no! Uh, I have to pay rent, which you have to pay sucks. rent. Yeah, it was either a, you oh, pay rent it, or you find your own place. So I just, you know, happy thought, where I am. So, so I, I think a lot of Americans place. would have gone with... Uh, oh, sorry, I pay rent. <laughs> a lot of people would have gone with finding their own place. But what made you choose to uh, uh, In all home? honesty, it's because my dad's actually, you know, I've got two other brothers as well, you know, like, and it came to a point where he was like, with that. I don't think he was the same situation with them or anything Did you like say that. younger just, you know, or older brothers? Uh, older. Uh, no, we're kicking out like 13-year-old kids. No, like, I'm, I'm a little confused. No, you... Go ahead, go no, ahead. But I've got two like two older brothers. They're like twice my age, so my dad's already had you know, like two sons, obviously. And he's mm -hmm. got my daughter. Uh, my, si my daughter, what? My sister as well. But my sister's at university, so, you know, she's got her own accommodation, so she's fine. She's not in the house all the time. My two brothers, actually, they, you know, they don't live with us, so they, they got moved out, and it was it was always the choice of, and when my dad tells me story about, without going too depth there, it's always, oh, when I was younger, my dad turned around and said to me that if I don't hand him some of my wage from when I used to, I don't know, pick up potatoes on a farm or something, that's how old he is, <laughs> um, you know, yeah. you'd, you, you, you're out of the house. So my dad basically turned around to me and said, you're either paying me rent for your bedroom in your office or you're finding your own place. And because yeah. I didn't want to like ruin the relationship with my dad, you know, because I like, I like the whole family thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I like having my food, you know, basically I'm lazy because I don't want to wash my own clothes and all that. Yeah, and make it's kind of, tea and like it's got to suck to get pimped out by your dad, though. Yeah. No, 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 no. You got to understand. Yeah. I'd rather pay Not rent no. for my, I'd rather pay rent for my parents than pay rent for like a slumlord. Because the parents, with that rent, you get free clothes, cooked meals, you know, house clean for you. Yeah. Like, slumlord, you might get mold on your fucking ceiling. And you had to go to the coin laundry for the same price. Exactly. exactly. Like you I, made a yeah. better choice. You're paying. I'm. I just saw it from that. Like if I go out and what find it my own place, you have got to think about it. You've got to pay. You got to pay your rent, your electricity, your gas. Like how much all our Xboxes and our computers and everything like that will use up. That's just like a mass amount. So I know I'd, I'd probably be paying less, uh, like <laughs> electricity and all that. But yeah, it did take quite a chunk off me, which is. Oh shit! I'm I'm looking at my setup right now. I probably got like ten grand worth of electronics sitting around me. It's like fucking yeah. NASA. And that's the thing. It's it's just bearing, <laughs> you know, like your food. Your food's there for your washed clothes. I have to do my own ironing though. Do, you? do what oh, I man. do. That wasn't included in the price. Do what I do. You buy you buy the nice dress pants, and they you don't have to iron them oh, because right. they're wrinkle free. <laughs> I just wear like they're stain resistant. Jeans, oh. Jogging bottoms or shorts or something like that. I just wear jogging bottoms when I'm like, chilling. You know, like, chilling. Sorry, that's such a bad word to say. Like when I'm just relaxing in my chair or something, or gaming or whatever. Chillaxing. Chilling. You know. Mm. <laughs> so the, I want to just briefly cover. So last week in the post show, right? Not even during the podcast. Uh, we called some people on the stream, and that was kind of cool. And uh, um, one of the guys called in, and he had, like, I don't want to call him a bully because he felt like he could beat up the guy, but he had this guy in school who was giving him a hard time too frequently. All right? So at one point, he gave the phone number out to the post show. And I didn't want, like, this guy to get overly bullied. I felt somewhat responsible for it. So I ran a commercial during, like, his, you know, the, as he's saying, like, whatever, like, five 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 one two one two. I ran a commercial. But there were people with Adblock who got the phone yeah. number, and it started oh. filling the stream. It filled the stream. Like, it, this phone number is going again and again and again. There it is. It's in the stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I only remember the yeah. last four numbers, that, like, 7960 or something like that. Like, when I see yeah, that, 7690. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and, and then, like, once one or two people put it in the stream, oh, oh, other people had ad blockers, so the commercial thing didn't work with them either. So, anyway, it starts filling the stream. It goes, 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 and goes. And, uh, um, so it's like, all right, the thing got out. I'm sure the guy got bombarded with phone calls that night. Okay, whatever. I decided to upload the post show to my YouTube channel. So I sat there and painfully watched the entire post show and found the section where 
he talked about his phone number because of course it wouldn't be blocked by a commercial and uh um, who, who are you ringing again i'm sorry who was oh, who is it you're this is um to? this is a uh a, a fan of the show is All getting right. bothered yeah. by someone at school and this person ah, at school his phone fun. number is getting exposed look at the stream and uh <laughs> this guy's getting phone calls you know, so yeah, anyway see, i tweeted it out too did you, that's funny so uh <laughs> I, did, I took the opposite more responsible route i ran commercials to block it i edited it in my um in the video I, it, like yeah. instead of the phone number you heard my voice you still saying, know he was the most top rated comment though you know that yeah yeah so that, that, that like, <laughs> during the, sh on the, the, the video on my channel I edited it out and instead put my video where I said, you know, at this point in the show, he gave out his phone number, but it would be irresponsible to show it to all of you guys. So you hear me instead. And then it just like kicks right back into the show. And, uh, <laughs> but of course the comments are filled with, you know, the, the guy's phone number again and again and again. And now like we pop in here, that phone number is showing up everywhere. This guy is like, he's getting rape trained. I like that. Yeah. He's, get, yeah, he's definitely getting rape trained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh yeah. if that would have been me, I'd have just had my phone cut off yeah, and had my number changed. You know, new now, new number. Dude, that's been me and I haven't turned my phone on for months. It's just What's yeah. That? yeah, that we what, so your we, number got out and people ringing you. Yeah, you know, people it, it, you'll see syndicate if you haven't no, seen already. I, I had someone ring me the other day when I was streaming and he had any rang and I just went, You can ring all you want, but basically I'll just ring the company and just get your number blocked and if you ring me again, you know, It'll go further. I don't my, really care. My I'll phone go, I'll go was, that far. My phone was ringing like as frequently as it could ring. Like it just back to back to back to back to back. I would hang up, it would ring again. I would hang up, it would ring again. And uh, and it was late. You know, it was like two a.m., four a.m. stuff like that. Just like twenty-four <laughs> yeah. by seven. Hang up, ring again. Hang up, ring again. And uh, um, so you know, we just like unplug the phone, and it's probably been three or four months. Uh, we still pay that stupid phone bill, but we don't use that phone. <laughs> you know, I think I might. Would you just pay the fifteen dollars to get the number changed? Yeah, I think I, I, ours is like twice that. Even ours is well, a lot more than that. Ours is like thirty pounds, so that's like sixty dollars to change it. Ooh, so that's... imagine that, like I change it, and then someone gets hold of it again and splits it out every time someone keeps giving it away. It's a bit stressful. Yes. But, <laughs> I don't I like. Don't I don't make me say it. Do I know the strangest thing is? Don't I got a letter through. Today. What do you have? You could handle it because you've got. Uh, no, 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 Making any yeah, no need to, to no need to flaunt it at all. I know no. people don't do it in that sort of way, but there's just no need to say it. No, well, not not to say it. There's no need, need, but you know, it's just have that much, have respect to not say it. Yes, it's funny as hell saying it because it sounds awesome. Yeah, when um, you know, when, when people get together in real life, sometimes they say it, but uh, it's best <laughs> not to do it on the live stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, oh, shall we start the show? Yeah, if you want to. All I right. think everyone yeah, kind of noticed what what it was <laughs> oh god but yeah, yeah. so this oh. was a pretty shit then but we're getting a fair amount of hate you and i syndicate i've, I've noticed Why? so actually maybe there's a love connection here because so far i didn't notice this you just broke my heart oh so, yeah so, cool. so reading in the chat i've discovered that we're both gay and riley yeah that's crazy i know i don't yeah. have a male partner Woody, don't, don't you have a wife <laughs> and kids right like that ah oh, that just you must be so gay for having a wife <laughs> oh god sorry man man you must be really really fucking deep in the closet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm so deep right. hey, you got everybody fooled <laughs> you got the mouse traps and shit oh, we're hanging <laughs> oh god uh, no but yeah it's just so so this is what people are saying yes is, is this what you've been reading uh-huh yeah, it, 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 it even said like syndicate and it, it called us one guy called the two of us out together and and yeah. came up with some sort of like you know cinda woody gay or i, I forget what it was exactly <laughs> but yeah cinda woody gay. yeah dude this we're the next so, benefer we're the next so like cool. you know selena gomez bieber couple you and i oh, we're, oh, we're... no 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 <laughs> god anything would be, be like he just walked to the bin and put something in i'd be like no <laughs> oh, my god, but... and that's when you scream out lick it <laughs> yeah, lick it. Oh god. Well, I'm gonna lick my mic. I see it coming. I, there it is. This is a question for everyone. 
Oh no. <laughs> I've I've got I've got to say this to everyone then. So if it's a Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber thing, which one am I and which one's Woody? Oh, oh and I don't know which one I want to be. Comments. Like normally I'd be like, dude, you're the girl. But which one exactly just, is the girl in this situation? Like I, I, I don't just really threw up, but, uh, <laughs> I saw you lit your <laughs> Dude, come on. I got a beastly tongue, don't I? My tongue is awesome. Oh my god, where where is Gene Simmons when you knew him? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> It's going to happen saying, again. Look Selena at the stream. Gomez. Look at the stream. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Lick it. You, you, should, yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should make that the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone should be like, what the f*** is that? <laughs> oh, my God. I want to bust a gut. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> Oh God! Uh, yo, with a ton like that, you better hope you're you're Bieber. All I'm telling you, Syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wouldn't Syndicate want to be Selena with a tongue like that? Yeah, uh, that would work out. Yeah. Way, but... All right, so there what, it is. I'm not, I'm not even answering that. What? I'll be Bieber, you be Selena, and we're good to go. Oh Next. wait, yeah, if, uh, yeah. Can Kelly? I'm gonna. Is she well equipped? She's a teen, right? Isn't she? She she like well equipped up. Selena Gomez. Was she, was she blossomed? Yeah. She has team like, art approval. Yeah. Yeah, but Rebecca Black, come on, really? <laughs> do, I, do I have to do? Dude, that? I love Rebecca Black. I, I, I have like, I, I really, honestly do really? like Rebecca Black. I'd love to have her. I, I want a dual con with Rebecca Black. Everyone spam Rebecca Black and say do a dual con with at Woody's Gamer Tag. I, um, I find her to be an inspiration. I find that I, I love that she is undeterred by the, by the you know haters and jealousy and all the little the ankle biters around her. I love that she did this video and you know, it getting Rebecca Black became the term for YouTube hate. And then what did she do? Her next video was my moment. Her next video was like, you, you can't stop me. I'm running with this. Uh, I'm... Not like the thing. She did nothing wrong, did she? It wasn't her fault. Like the song came out like it was. It was a pretty of a bad a bad song, but you know, it was a hit. It, in itself mm -hmm. like people hated it people loved it but with anything there'll always be a hater to something like regardless sure. of what it is <laughs> for sure for sure yeah i, I with, with, you but know, in, obviously in team outsides there's no hate towards rebecca black it's all she's perfect and thinks that everyone's yeah perfect. well team art looks at her with glasses of love what can you say <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah it's, it's the way it is hey let's start the show yeah, i'm sure. uh, looking at my record button Okay, so uh, let's figure out an intro. Who's doing the intro this week? I, I'm actually really impressed with Wings because he's super fast at doing it, and it's just like, what? All right. Crazy. So we, we have a request for Wings. Wings, can you do a uh, – can you think of a syndicate, so rape a... train, yeah. maybe redneck? Rape sauce. Yeah. Rape sauce. Rape sauce. Rape sauce. Lick it. Just, rape just sauce. Just spitballing rape train, here so. trying to get a little uh, – it... You know, inspiration yeah, let's go. Are you ready? All yeah. Right. Let's get it already. No one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption with Painkiller already. What the hell do you get when you have a train and a redneck British guy that lives at home? I think we got the zombie king of the motherfucking world. What's up with your boy Syndicate? <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, man. How's it going? That was <laughs> awesome. Like, I was like, what? Yeah. Redneck? <laughs> Yeah, I you're the northerner. Thing. Remember that. Yeah, the northerner of northerner of England. Northerner. I thought we all, I thought we uh pretty much assumed that you were the ex the example of a British redneck. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't deny that's it. Not, that, that's not just what play the, the part. In the pre-show, he said, "No, I'm not no, a British redneck." No, that was like people from like, Liverpool like, are the British rednecks, which establishes that oh, syndicate's yeah. racist. Yeah. 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 Like when it's like with where <laughs> I'm from, I'm from Manchester, so everyone's like, "Ah, oh, you're a, you know, everyone calls you a mank," and it's just like, well. You know, and you must support Man United when you tell anyone. But no, I don't do football or soccer. Like, now who would uh, win a football game between Manchester and, let's say, the Pittsburgh Steelers? Never heard of the <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't. I'm not. Honestly, I'm not into football. I do I uh, down the line instead. Depends on which kind of football they're playing. But I have another question. Here's my opening question for the week, and I'm going to start with. Um, wings, pick Syndicate or, or a Redneck? Syndicate, obviously. We need British chaps. All right, British chaps. Are you ready for this? Here's your question. Hypothetical situation. You have the ability to summon and... Forgive me for being crashed. You have the ability to summon and fuck any woman who ever existed. The only issue 
is that your dick shrinks by one centimeter every time you use this power. Would you use it? How many times? And with whom? <laughs> I'm like, you know, Ooh. like... Mm -hmm. So you I got, have the ability I got, I got, to, ask, to summon and sex up to... anyone who's ever existed, anyone. but you lose a Give centimeter some... each time. Oh, I know. Like, I've got one. Like, oh, I could easily go for a porn star, because that'd be awesome. Uh, wait, but then, like, you know, obviously she'd be pretty uh, stretched. Wait, wait, wait. Pwn star, that, the YouTube I'm commentator shrink. who plays on the PS3? What? But, but no, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but no, do, do you know what I'm gonna? Do you know what I'm gonna say? All right, and I don't. And why, why is Pawn Star stretched again? I, uh, this is the question I'm wondering. Why is a Pawn Star stretched? Oh, he said Pawn Star is stretched. No, a, a Pawn star. star. I'm hearing Pawn Star. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, no, so star. a Pawn yeah, Star. I mean, English, don't forget. Yeah, so like a Pawn Star stretched. You know, she's gonna get smashed by some like giant dude or whatever. So mm -hmm. like, if you're gonna shrink a centimeter every time, it's you know, it's going to be nothing, like, where eventually mm. once you've summoned it. Because I've summoned it, like, all the time. I'm like, I want it now, summoned. You know, and that's <laughs> it. And then, like, within a week, I'd have, like, an ingrowing penis or whatever, you know. So, it <laughs> it just be yeah, crazy. But I'm going to say Emma Stone. Do you know who she is? Oh, wait. Emma Stone? Is she from Harry Potter? Is that her? What? No, no who that's, am I thinking of? That's Emma Stone. <laughs> who is no, that? Emma Stone, the girl from Zombieland. Oh, from Zombieland. From Zombieland, yes, the with, with um, Woody America. Harrelson and uh, whatever, that guy who looks I like the guy from in. Juno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'd say Emma Stone. And then how how often? Um, yeah. Um, whenever. I don't know. If, if it had to shrink all the time, I'd say, what would you do? I don't know. If it was like. Yeah, could you go just once? I, I could. No. No. <laughs> Come up to the, it'd probably be like, um, like the first time, leave it a while, you know, so it got to the point of where I was like, yeah, I need to go again. And then it'd be like, one more time. So I'd probably three times. Three centimeters. I, yeah. It'd probably like, I'd stretch it that far, the gap of it. I'd just be like, that's amazing. Then go back to it straight away. So three centimeters is about an inch and a half. Does that sound right to you? Yeah, about right. Hmm. All right. I'd, I'd sacrifice that, but it would be like over the stretch of three years, so I could like, I could do it now. So I'd be like, yeah, that was epic, and then I could do go like, ten, you know, obviously I wouldn't say just ten years, but you know, you'd find other women along the way from there. So you'd be like, mm, you know, deal with them, you know, oh yeah, I banged them a stone, hey, you know. So it, wait, it's one brag, two right? and then, and then I could do it like, say like when I'm ninety or something, sat there still raping zombies, I'd be like, oh shit, I can summon Emma Stone, and I just summon Emma Stone. But then again, she'd be, would she be herself? Who was she was then, or would she be an old person? She would just be uh, her at, from any <laughs> moment in time. She would be the perfect version of her and desiring you. Perfect man. man. Yeah. I'd do it. I would do it now. I'd do it halfway through my life, and then I'd no, do it dude. towards just the save, end. All right, Redneck. Just save some fucking dick. Save some dick. Fuck her one time, then lick her. Okay. <laughs> just lick it a few times, and then and then trade her ass in for a new one. You know. Yeah. Go down, okay. take her to Pawn Stars in, <laughs> in Las Vegas and, and pawn her for somebody else. It'd have to be – now I'm a little older, so. Uh, oh, it's hard to choose just one, though. Well, you could maybe choose gonna, a couple, but you know, each time. I'm going to go with Eva Menendez. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Now, you, that's right, Woody. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You know, I just – you know, she's she's always been hot. Yeah, if I said some young teenage girl, you know, you'd been like, oh, you pedophile. Yeah, so. right, dude. What if you're like, dude, I would totally take Rebecca Black, and when they say from anywhere in time, four years in the future. Like, you know, you could possibly work that. Mm. Did you did you actually just say that? No, that wasn't. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Britney in her prime. Mm, Britney in her prime is hard to beat. But you know oh what? My God. Like, it, go on. So Britney in her prime would clearly be like an awesome thing to look at, but if you want yeah. an experience, if you want someone who knows what they're doing, you might want to go <gasps> Madonna in her prime. What? No! Why did I say oh, Rihanna? Man. Oh my gosh! You oh. might get face oh, down, ass up. up. Rihanna, no, change <laughs> my mind. I retract my statement. Rihanna, you, no, no change in my mind. Rihanna. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. She is amazing. Her music videos, it's like Jesus. It's like a, it's a porno. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's great. Uh, what about Wings? 
Wings, who do you got? Cleopatra. <laughs> I like Wings, man. I really like that. <laughs> I don't even know what she looks That's like, it. but there's something something special about that pick. I'm on Yo, well, people. Cleopatra created the blowjob, so obviously she knows what she's doing. <laughs> okay. Wings is full of knowledge. I gotta. Hang on. I don't know. I'm sorry, like Cleopatra. Cleopatra, who the, the queen of the Nile, son? Yeah. I know. Cleopatra, and how many times would you do this? That's what I was going to ask you. Like, if you summon the same person, does it keep shrinking it? Oh, yeah. What if you fall in love after the first summon? What if you get that shit too good? Dude, she's from the mm -hmm. past. Like, he, there has to be a penalty for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're cheap, classified wait. as a kill fucker or something like that. <laughs> um... <laughs> So how many times, Wings? I don't know. It depends how good the pussy is. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking about this, right? And I'm, uh, I, I don't want to be uh, arrogant or crass about it, but I've got a little length to give away. So I think, I, I think I'm going to do this. I don't know if I want to give away a whole inch. Like, is one time good to go? Uh it's it's not going to be more than two, that's for sure. I, I I can't stand I can't spare an inch and a quarter. That's too much. Well, if you make your, your one time, make it last good, make it last a long time, then you're awesome, aren't you? Oh, I yeah. How long can it? <laughs> how long will it last? Until it depends you're on how old you are. <laughs> yeah. If you're 18, it's likely to last like you know, 60 seconds. <laughs> the best 20 seconds of my life. <laughs> yeah. Um. Holy shit. <laughs> so I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I, uh, wow, 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 wow. So I've got a couple names in my head. I have Madonna in my head at her prime, gorgeous, knows what she's doing. Um, yeah, I have, uh, hot. practically from right now, who's the chick from Harry Potter? Emma, Emma Watson. Emma Watson, right? She to me is that, you know, classy dream girl of the moment, you know, that the, the girl, girl next door. Yeah, right now, I'm kind of a girl next door sort of guy there. Jan Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Aniston in her prime was appealing to me yeah. as well. Um, but then on the other hand, you know, like this is going to be a one time oh, thing. When, when was uh, Jennifer your... Aniston's prime? Is Jennifer Aniston's prime in Leprechaun or Office Space or like oh, Kill Office the Boss? Office Space is a good pick. Ooh, I was going to say yeah. Early Friends. But um, pre Brad Pitt. How about that? If I'm going to have two, I'm going to get my variety. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go on both both uh, of the extremes. So I'm going to grab Emma Watson for one. I'm gonna grab Sasha Gray for the other. You really go for like? Don't get me wrong, she's a good I'm surprised girl, Woody, but like, like I'm going for really? Harriet Tubman or somebody. <laughs> so many people choose Emma Watson. I don't understand. Really, I, I just saw you one. She's like, obviously no, she's a stunning girl. Don't get me wrong, but there are some. She, she'll be shy as hell. That's think. the trouble, right? That's why I went with Sasha Gray with my other pick. I don't think. I yeah, mean, you'd I, want someone she's crazy. not shy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody just somebody just put in there Susan Susan O'Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus, that's deep right there. Megan the Fox. Yeah, look, we're yeah. missing out. Like, like Cheryl Cole. You all know who she is, don't you? She's like she's yes. she's stunning. Huh. And then I'm just thinking about loads of porn stars. I tell you what, <clears throat> you'd have to go to Matt some. And look up like the Maxim girls. I don't whatever trust it. Maxim, right? You know, the, the, Photoshop. The yeah, way. Photoshop. That's that magazine is all about. It's, well, uh, all right then. What about look, porno yeah. then? Because like, surely if it, you can see them in a porno, then you can fully see what they're like. Then you'd be like, yeah, I'll say one of them, one of them, and one of them. But then you I'm looking at this Emma Stone girl. Y'all guys are wasting your picks. <laughs> no. I... Hey, you like you like Emma Stone. What? I, I I didn't mean to. I thought there was like a natural topic change spot there, and now I feel like there's not. Oh, I'm just saying, this Emma Stone curl's hideous. I mean, like what? She's hideous. All She's right. hideous. You chose Cleopatra. <laughs> yeah, I chose <laughs> the Cleopatra. fucking queen of the now. I, I chose somebody that destroyed a dynasty. You choose a bitch with like an overbite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know Emma Stone. That's why I changed it to Rihanna. Rih Rih All right, Jessica Alba. Yeah, uh, she's, yeah she's a good pick. I think Emma Stone is pretty, but I think what? every high school in America has, you know, five, five girls of as pretty them. as her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, 
you know and that's a thing about like gorgeously hot women too like megan fox right megan fox is out of this world great looking kind of i think every high school in america has one of them now, there's one yeah. girl who looks as good as megan fox like you know really incredibly looking girls are not incredibly rare you know it's there's somebody for everyone and there's someone who's going to look at like a megan fox and be like you know what she's kind of skinny like bony's not my style i'm more of a you know, Emma Stone person, or like a, a Lindsay Lohan early days type person. You know, where they I, like. A, I got lucky. I mm-hmm. married a homecoming queen, so I I can't complain. My mother was a homecoming queen, and a prom queen. She was, she had high school figured out, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, she, she had the uh, people having her out, or was she just a good-looking woman? What? Uh, <laughs> so there's uh, there's a mix of it. One, she was a really good-looking woman. But uh, her father died of cancer in high school, and I can't help but wonder if that helped her voting. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's how, that was her in high school. So, yeah, it wasn't like it was a really really great time or anything. <laughs> All oh, yeah. parties. That was that was bad times for her. Yeah. Yeah, her her father had um, colon cancer. I never met him because uh, she was in high school. But uh, yeah, and then so uh, she her mother remarried, and I didn't call my. I guess the guy that you'd call my grandfather, my you know my step grandfather, like he didn't like the term grandfather, so I called him my uncle, like for his entire like the entire time I knew him until he died. He was my uncle Shirley, and uh, every <laughs> I don't know everyone. I, he was like you know I don't know I don't like grandpa. How about uncle? I'm like I'll go with that, and it made him younger, and that's how we rolled. Me and my uncle Shirley. Hell oh, yeah. Yep yep. Um, wings. I, I missed yes. your commentary. Did you do a commentary recently on being a a father? Yes, I, like someone tweeted to me about it, but I had that shit was nice out. too. <laughs> I heard it was. I heard it was one of the classics, one of the wings classics. Yeah. So, it, it's uh, it's just it's just me basically asking for help because I'm really digging the whole father figure kind. Of, it, it, it's cool seeing like you're doing stuff with them and they're responding to it, and mm-hmm. you know you're actually getting through to it, and you, you win those little battles, and those little battles feel like you win wars. It's like you're just getting him to say what he feels, like instead of. I don't know, or because, you know, little kids like to say I don't know, or because. That's what I, that's what I've learned. Or nothing. When they, or nothing. What'd or, you do? Or nothing. Like, How was school? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or they'll huff at you when they're upset, like you, if he's crying or something. You like you're trying to talk to him or get him to talk to you. He's like, huh. Yep. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, so when you get them to start communicating with you, it feels like you won a huge battle. At least it does in my eyes. Yeah. You need about two or three more. Well, you guys want to talk about the topic I was talking about with him? Yeah, I want to hear it. Well, the topic is he is potty trained. Mm-hmm. He is 100% potty trained, but he's regressed. And what regressed means, he said, I, I, I'm assuming before I met him, he had some kind of experience on the toilet that made him think toilet bad, toilet hurt. Mm-hmm. So he started going back pot- potty in his pants because when I, when I first met him, he was in his, he was in, you know, big boy underwear. He was in bloomers. And we, it, we've gotten to the point we had to go back to, you know, pull ups because he was destroying all of his underwear. I mean, literally pooping in his underwear so often that was eating holes in the back. And so we decided to put him back in pull ups. And he didn't like that idea at all. But so I was sitting there thinking, man. It, does he not like that idea because he's he looks like like a baby? Does he not like that idea because he's unaware that he, when he's going potty? Does can he under, feel when he's going potty? <laughs> well, yesterday we had an epiphany and a lot of the stuff came out. I, I put a video out the early beginning of the day talking about his problem, kind of like you know throwing it out there, see if people went through the same experiences as me and give me some advice. The advice I took was let him sit in it. And he will eventually, if he, if he's uncomfortable, he'll come to you. And he eventually did. And it happened right before bed. And he, he comes, he goes, are, are, are you going to change my clothes? I'm going, nope. And he goes, why not? I'm like, don't want to. He <laughs> and he, start, he, should, he should do and something he, about it. And he starts freaking out. And I'm like, yeah, you can go to bed and poop. That's fine. And he did not want to go to sleep and poop. He wanted no part of it. I don't want to do so, that either. No, yeah. that's, that's a good move you did. You made him basically make the decision to go, all right, maybe I have to do something about it. Yeah. Instead so, of letting other people do it. And um, so 
so what we did is I basically I took him in the bathroom and he was expecting his mother to clean him like she usually does. I go, nope, she don't want to clean you no more. So I, I started, I showed him how to clean himself and like, I'm, and I've been walking him through it. And I'm like, if you want to poop your pants, you got to clean yourself. And you know, it's kind of getting, getting the kickstart so he can be more independent on his potty. And at the same time, hopefully it will deter him away from pooping in his pants. So he won't have as big of a mess to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. I hope it works out for you. Yo. What One would time you do? Neighbors. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, so, what would you guys do in that situation? The kid that regressed like I, that? I've been yeah. there. <laughs> okay, what did you do? Basically, almost the same exact thing. I mean, for the most part. I mean, he's like, look, listen, kid. We've done, been down this road. And finally, I started making fun of him. I know that's probably not the right <laughs> thing to do. Nice. I did. Uh, I went around the whole day. I'm like poopy pants, poopy pants. Uh, he got so pissed off because I he knew it, it was wrong. I was like poopy pants, poopy pants. And in about I don't know about two hours after that, he, he was like on the toilet, <laughs> on the toilet. I'm like cool. And it didn't really happen just that one time with it, that it, one kid. You know, this has been going on like a year now, from what I've heard. Well. And I and I like when I heard it, I'm like, this is gonna be my mission. I'm gonna get this kid potty trained again. You know, yeah. <laughs> it was like I looked at it as like How a challenge instead of. Is he just a friend? About to turn four. Is it a friend's son? Four. No. No, it's, it's my a... girlfriend's. All oh, right, girlfriend's yeah. son. Wings in right, a right. serious girlfriend relationship. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Like, if I had to take this from like a stand, you know, because I ain't got kids or anything like that, you know, mm -hmm. my mum's actually a childminder, so she's she's dealt with that all, and from like. My dad, like, what? How my stubborn is my dad is? He just he'd take the approach of, you get yourself in that mess, you get yourself out of it, basically. And in all honesty, with any any situ, you know, not saying I've been doing it, but you know, any situation he puts me in, he may, he'll make me feel as bad as I can until I don't want to get you know feel that from him, and then I will like do something to change it. You know, that's what it used to be like. But now I just don't care because he just <laughs> winds me up. It's like I make too much noise on my Xbox, or whatever. So I'm just like, oh, go away. You know, leave you to it. But and like my mum would be because she's a childminder, you know, she's dealt with everything. If the if the what kid's been it? doing it for that long, a childminder child. is that like preschool or like? I... Uh, no, it's like just someone who's like you know when the kids have got to be when they've got to go to work, they're just like dropping off care? like a daycare, oh, yeah, like daycare. a like, like a okay. daycare thing. Mm -hmm. So they drop them off at my mum. But like my mum's been through that many things. Like if the person's been doing it for that long, and like you said, they've they've gone through the stage already and then gone back to it, my mum would probably just be like, you know, it do the thing of. It's slightly. I'm not saying like my mum's a bad babysitter by saying insult them, but you know, be like, why are you doing that? She'd ask them why, and like tell them it's wrong. And if they didn't listen to it, it's wrong. It'd be like, right, well, you've got yourself in that mess. You're gonna stay in that mess until you do something about it. Yeah, and if you do it again, you're getting the rape sauce. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, but I've even, I've thought about the. I've actually thought about like maybe the embarrassing route, but I don't want to put the kid through that. You know, yeah. try like maybe like his sister call him out on it or something like that. You know, like you know, you stink or something like that. Yeah, but I don't know how. Works. I don't know how that. I don't know how that will affect like a three or four year old. I'm not trying to be like some bad parent and like create like one of those guys you see in horror movies that like yeah. fucking cut themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. You don't want to hurt him, do you? You want to help him. You don't want to. Well, you don't want to upset him, do you? You want to help him. Yeah, I don't want him to the fear me to the point like. That's the man who makes me go on the toilet. You know, I want him to be able to come to me for problems. Yeah, that's good. Of, that's have really asked, good of you, like, Wayne. If you asked him like, why? You know, like, does he? Have you? Would you want to go there and just be like, what? What's the matter with it? Oh, how come you used to do it? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, after all the weeks of cleaning his poop, I've never asked why do you poop your pants. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. <laughs> but the fact is, he always would say, I don't know or nothing. I'm like, do you? Can you feel it? Does your stomach hurt when you got a poo poo? He's like, I don't know. No. How do you not know? Yeah. A lot of kids that age, they get so consumed with whatever they're doing, like playing with or whatever, that they just cannot pull themselves away from it to go to the potty. Yeah, I think that's the thing because, like, the other day in my videos I've been explaining to it is, like, his mother cleaned him, and he comes back out, and the, we're, we're babysitting uh, my buddy's kids as well at the time, so we had four kids there, and he sits back down at the table, and he stands up almost immediately, and you see his face is red. You can see him going to the poop, and it's like. <laughs> I got a question. Who would you rather wipe your ass? 
Uh, I want to hear Woody's take on this before we jump to another topic. Yeah, I, you know, it's really tough. So with my own kids, I'll share. Like, my daughter was super easy, right? Like, she did everything sort of ahead of the curve on what you'd expect, you know, a kid to do at, like, one, two, three, et cetera, and, and there was no issue there. With my son, well, you know, he had developmental issues. So, you know, like, just – I don't want to say we lowered expectations. I hate to even think along that route, but – you know, when it came to like being potty trained at two or whatever, we kind of forgave him and let it slide till you know he was a little older. Of course, he's fully potty trained now. And uh, but what would I do like hypothetically, like if Hope had regressed? You know, a normal healthy kid. Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I I swear the like the make fun of him thing is not completely without its merit. You know, but uh, it also doesn't seem like my first option. Um, it's a tough situation, you know, like Cindy could said, you know, have you tried talking to him, et cetera? Well, of course you try that, right? You know, the, the, the normal, like, adult means of solving problems probably didn't work out, and, and there's something yeah. about him that's, that's causing him not to use the toilet like he's supposed to. It's tough, but uh, I, I think I might try bribing him. I might try, you know, some sort of incentive plan and see how we're kind of – that would probably be my first step. Yeah, there's there is definitely a few things you can you know you can use to do it. But if if I was to do it now, I'd definitely say that do the disappointment route. You know, like you've you've disappointed me, you've disappointed your mother, and you know really because it's to the funny that we're sick of it. Yeah, that's the you know, opposite of, of the of bribing thing, right? Like an, you know, I, I, yeah, but you disappointed me versus you know you would make me proud if you were to do this. I uh, I mean like like he loves his Nintendo DS, like he likes the crayon games. So I bought him Nintendo DS games. Like look here, you can go to the toilet, you get these. No, it didn't work. Hmm. I've tried M. We've tried M and M's. We've tried sticker charts. We've tried. I I I've probably invested at least five hundred bucks into just body <laughs> <Wow>. training. <laughs> so have you done the disappointment thing? Like you know, you, you've just let us down. But like, obviously, and, you don't want to be too hard on the kid. It's all dear, but you know. And, and the, that let him sit in it was the one that got the most reaction. That let me kind of understand where he's coming from. And personally, I think he's just lazy. Just lazy, really? Yeah. Yes, I mean, I think he goes into his pants because one, when he remembers back when he was little and he could poop in the di diaper and it'd be perfectly fine, it didn't hurt. But when he got to the toilet and he was potty trained, he had like a constipation bout or something like that, and it hurt him, so he didn't want to go to the toilet, so he kind of held it, you know, and to the point where you can't hold it no more and it comes out. Well, when it comes out in his pants, it didn't hurt him because he had already got over his constipation at that point. So he's like, well, I'm going to always do it in my pants so it doesn't hurt. And I think that's his mindset. And him being like three or four, he can't decipher between, you know, toilet hurt, pants don't hurt, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of deal. Because why would you be yelled at by your mother and be clean and be, you know, talked down upon, then go back five minutes later and do it in front of us? I guess. So what else is it about parenthood have you found so far? You know, tell me, I want to hear the wings so for people that don't know, Wings of Redemption has a really serious girlfriend. Uh, they live together. The serious girlfriend brought a kid uh, into the relationship with her. So Wings kind of you know went from zero to sixty on this whole parenthood thing with a kid that is three. Is it, am I right? Three. Two kids. Two. Got oh. a four. Got right. a. We got we got one turning five, one turning four. Nice. All right. So three and a four year old almost. You know next, and uh, and yeah. So now he's that you know father. Uh, household type guy head of the house father figure person well when i first when i first met him i was actually scared to be alone with him because nice. it's like okay uh -huh. it's like well <laughs> what do i do with you <laughs> i'm not break you <laughs> that's like how do you him, entertain sorry. a three-year-old oh, and and what but about not, now but, but you quickly learned that the disney channel was a very good babysitter <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> and um you turn on the digital babysitter and you just give them needs that they ask for. Like I want water, I want snack or, you know, and try to, you know, and try to just integrate them in that, let them paint some, whatever. Kids are easy. They are people, people make this big deal about kids and raising stuff. Being a father is not that hard. All you got to do is be there and be able to open the refrigerator for the most part. I mean, what I'm worried about is the <laughs> mental kind of aspects of it. Like, I think um, there's like, more to it than that, right? There like, is more to yeah. it. Know, that's like, the, that's you know, the being just a father's not that hard, but it's like, you know what? Come back to me when your kids, I'll yeah. say, seven your years old. Your daughter's 14. Yeah, your daughter. Well, you got kids. Uh, yeah, Redneck has two, right? I was it? All yeah, right. I got yeah, three. So I got three. three. 14, 14, 12, and seven. 
Like, oh, come back man. when your kid is eight years old, he's crying because suddenly all his friends that he sat with at lunch every day don't want to be his friend anymore. You know, help him work through that. And I can't. You, or feel the, maybe you could actually, maybe you'd be good at that. But, you know, like, feel the, like, intense pain that an eight-year-old has and be helpless to, you know, fix it for them. That, that sort of thing is hard parenting. See, I thought y'all were going to jump right to, like, the 15-year-old rebelling. Like, yeah, I'm ready to so fix those problems. Off. <laughs> I'm ready. Look here, you'll lose every ounce of privacy you have. You'll lose the door on your fucking bedroom. <laughs> there will be nothing that you will be able to see. So, I will strip you I'll, of everything. I like your approach. That's my, that's my dad approach. My that's oldest son, approach him and his buddies are wrestling. Yeah, that's a, yeah, you piss about, you lose everything, you know. You know, the power in your room is going, that kind of threats. That's oh, yeah, I would reroute the power in the room so I could that's flip it, it on is, and off yeah. on the switch in my room. I can say it freaking works. Like, yeah, that's the <laughs> first so, answer. You, you right. want to be rebellious? You want to sneak out the house? Boom. <laughs> Syndicate, let's hear this. Let, 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 so you're of an age now. How old are you exactly, Syndicate? I'm about to say 18 now. 18, all right. So this is about when you start issuing your first parental report cards. My experience says you'll advise them over the next couple of years, but how did your parents do in raising you? I mean, did they – was – was pulling the door off the hinges the right move? Do you, do you think um, the, the you've disappointed me route? Or, or sh what do you think? Could they, What could they have done better? Stay together, to be honest. Like, mine, mine split up when I was seven. So, you know, mm -hmm. like, I was quite young. But then at that point, I was like, you know, I it never, like, I never thought it affected me much, and I don't think it has to this point. It's been great, but it, it would have been nice to have, you know, like, um, a fully – a full family, you know, my sister, me, my sister, and my mum and dad together. It would be nice to see, you know, like where I be in life, uh, you know, be in life now with them two together, because it's always been, you know, like for the past seven years, you know, they've both been dating other people. Mm -hmm. But as raising me, it was it's always been the, uh, it's either been the aggressive, you know, if you don't, you know, get concentrating at school, you know, on your grades or whatever, you know, like if you haven't done your homework, something like that. When I was younger, you know, it'd be like you're in trouble. You get get to your room like when I was about, you know. 13 gets you you're not staying in there you know <coughs> no, no xbox no anything like that you know everything taken like stripped of any royalties and that was it but like it works you know, if i want it back i've got to do good so you know well i had to do good so it worked it works up to now so like now my dad's my dad's all right with me but you know it's just when you think about when i say if i'm being too noisy at night and he's trying to sleep at now like two o'clock in the morning if i go wake him up you don't want to be woke up at two o'clock in the morning do you hmm, so you know you gotta think you've got to see it from you gotta see it from their point of view really like, and this is to anyone who's, you know, pissed off with the dad, you know, like, anyone's pissed off with, like, the mom and dad shouting at you, just think about it, be like, well, why are they shouting at you? What have you been doing wrong? And would you want it doing to you? I know you don't, most people are like, oh, I don't think that, you know, the rebellious teenager or whatever, but when you grow up, you do start to see it from everyone else's point of view, like, what you're doing and what it is doing to affect them, especially at I, school, because most of the time they try to help you, aren't they? Yeah, I know this shit works because, like, when Gabe first came here, he would hit people, he would scream no, he would run around, he'd run from you. I've got to, I've got him turn 360. Yeah. I got him, you know, yes sir, no sir, you know, eat his dinner, put his plate away, that kind of thing. Yeah. And it's not, it, it, it's not. I'm not gonna take full credit for it. His mother instilled a lot of these values in him, but it's just like when when he start started getting like repercussions for his actions like today he punched his sister in the stomach it's not a hard punch it's a, <laughs> a 3 year old punch but he but he had to go to his room for 15 minutes yeah, and he, he didn't still like got that to yeah. Yeah, yeah things like that just the the way like, the laugh, thing but... is like <laughs> oh oh it's the worst thing it's a be... bitch please <laughs> 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 that was the worst thing like anything you know like they could shout at me they could take off my stuff but when you know you've got that you know when they say, I'm not mad. How do you tear Just down an adult? Violence. You put them in solitary confinement. You take every privilege they they have away to the point where they either, they're, they're afraid of not doing good. I mean, it's not like breaking them down like that, but when you when you take a kid down like that and you take everything away, that's time you can bond with them. Because they want yeah. their TV back. They want their toys back. They want access to their room back. Yeah. And you're there to fill shit. their day. You, you're there to fill the day. It's like, well, you don't have this stuff, so come do this with me. And then they'll, they'll go do that with you and give you bonding time. And you, you can talk about what they're doing bad and all this and that. And he can slowly earn his stuff back. I always over-exaggerate on the time I give him. Like, look here, no TV two weeks. Well, he might only have his TV, like, took away for, like, three days. But I want, I want him to feel like it's going to be that much worse. 
Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm that, new that to way, this I've, game. I've been through, like, all that, you know, because my dad, because I'm, like, still, like, young compared to you guys, so I've I've had all that, you know. I'd come home from, like, school. So, like, when I was when I was 16, when I was, sorry, 15 at school, you know, I got in trouble. I had to stay behind in detention or whatever. Like, I'd come back. I'd come back to my room to go on my Xbox. You know, all the wires are just there, you know, Xbox missing, TV gone, laptop gone. And I'm like, you know, great. They've already, you know, school's rank home. No, I'm in trouble. So there we go. I've, I've lost my privileges, basically. And then that'd be gone for two weeks. And then, you know, and then it'd be like, my dad'd be like, right, you're coming to work with me at the weekend. You know, we're going doing this. So, you know, it, it was good bonding <laughs> time. And then you're like, you're work trying your do balls it. off. Yeah, you'd work your balls off for getting your stuff back. But with my dad, it was always two weeks. You got to wait two weeks. And if you asked him, he'd make it longer. He'd be like, can I must <laughs> yeah. back? He'd Did just he go follow through yeah, on that too? Just another week. Oh, yeah. If you ever broke it, say it was two weeks, you go, right. Let me ask you this Did taking all your stuff away get you to study and try to improve your grades? Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you know, like I came out with good grades in the end. I was like really happy. I was like, in like. Good, I'm just asking, like, like, like that, that was like but a def- really ex Cali yes, but I'm What's just wondering because yes, ex Cali's live commentaries when he gets in trouble, he goes like he's taking a poop. Uh, <laughs> no, um, like I'd say, um, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that. My dad was always like. He always wanted me to do well in life, you know, like do well with my grades because he always he always put it through to me and made sure he put it through to me. You've like, just knuckle down. You've only got to do it for like however many years and then it's there. You don't have to go back to it once yeah. you've done it. And now I've got so many friends who, you know, just like bummed it through their exams or whatever, did really bad. And now they're there stuck in that point in life because you know, like, we're all 18. It's You need to get a job. You need to sort yourself out in life. What are you going to do? You're going to go to university or college or whatever like that. And now they're like, oh, I can't go to university. I can't go to college because I haven't got the grades. So they've got to redo school. So they've got to do that entire experience again. Yeah. Listen to your parents. Because most parents, most parents won't, a better life for their kids than they had. You know what I'm saying? No. See, I'm not even thinking that way. Just, I, yeah. I just, I just don't want him to get picked on in kindergarten when he goes there and poops his pants and nobody wants to sit beside him. I'm not thinking that far ahead. Wings. Yeah. Well, you know. New topic? Yeah, we can. Hurricane Irene coming uh, what? in our Explain area in our about way. two days. Yeah. So, I, um, I thought it was supposed to kick off tomorrow. That's what the news place is saying. Is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. See, I'm a little further north. I just saw it. So Whereabouts you live? Right. Whereabouts is it coming? Because I've heard about it. I've only heard about it. I don't know anything about it. So if you could enlighten me, that'd be awesome. It, it's supposed to hit the Carolinas and go right up the shore: New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, the whole nine. But like the Carolinas, obviously, are gonna get the, the get it as it's the strongest, which was, I think it's Category Four. If I'm correct. Yeah. Do you know anything about her? That's about her? No, I'm sorry. Now, like, category four is that good? Is that no? Yeah. Sorry, not good. So, so they're ranked like, oh, on I'm a category good. of one to five. Five being the most destructive. Oh wow! So that is pretty bad then. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a big issue. Just get your shit pushed in big that, time. Uh, four, is, four is bad. Yeah, yeah. four is Hugo? bad. Hugo, five you're Katrina? fucked. Was it Katrina? Is that was that the most yeah? Hugo, Hugo is the best, worst one we've had in a while. Yeah, Katrina is probably too. most the well known. Yeah, the the thing Recent I'm looking times. at says it's going to make landfall right around Cape Hatteras, which uh, so the east coast of the United States has a boob. <laughs> it, it's uh, th- there's this like um, you know Cape Hatteras, you know uh, Outer Banks area of North Carolina that sticks out from the rest of the east coast and tends to catch a lot of hurricanes. So most of the hurricanes seem to land in either Florida or North Carolina, and um, I don't live in, in on the Outer Banks. I live shucks probably two and a half hours inland maybe three so um uh, it looks like our outer banks are going to get wrecked by this thing and uh it yeah. from the thing you're going to get seeing, affected me so probably not um you know they, they always like predict that you know this area is going to be flattened and no one will live and etc and then every time and you're, so you're like nah, probably not. yeah i'm like outside with my camera you know taking pictures of rain or something like you know, it's it's it's, it's not like, that big of a deal like I, I predict there'll be a couple trees that fall over somewhere in my town but by and large no big deal so uh that that's what i'm thinking is going to happen here we'll see what actually happens but i do think that um 
the Outer Banks, like the edge of North Carolina that this thing actually hits, is going to be a really big deal. I've heard they've evacuated five yeah. million people. Now I heard that in our uh, five million. Mm-hmm. Now I heard that in the podcast what? Um, stream. So that's a pretty unreliable source. I mean, I've heard oh, all right. sorts of wacky say. things in there. It's, actually, I heard that I was gay in there earlier today. So it's the same guys <laughs> <laughs> who were yeah. telling us that. But um, I wouldldn't be yeah, you and syndicate are butt sets in it up. Yeah, that's uh, according to the stream. All right. So um, um, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if there if evacuations had already started. Um, I'm looking at this web page to see if it tells me it doesn't. But I bet they're evacuating you know the very eastern part of North Carolina now and uh, it's gonna get it's gonna get hit. We haven't hard. started evacuations here yet. No it, from the, oh, you're gonna get affected wings. We get we, we get the same news you know <laughs> news telecast as the beach and they haven't they haven't put evacuation. They put out a flash flood warning. they put out a severe thunderstorm warning and they've showed the exit routes from the beach. <laughs> Which pretty much bottlenecks right towards Florence, so that's good. Uh, that would be fun to do it. But <laughs> I went through in my lifetime. I went through Fl- Floyd and Hugo, which were both yeah. number Who three. Hugo, Hugo was a boss. I'm yeah, Fl- Floyd and Hugo, which were is number three and two on the all time hurricane damage list. And I stay. I, I went through both of those in a trailer. So, <laughs> so it, I'm looking at the um, at the forecast right now. This is weather.com. It looks like wings is going to be spared, but the thing will still be, you know, of course there'll be erosion and stuff like that from the huge waves. You guys and there'll get be wind. so bad, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, it, it, you get nice weather. Yeah, we do get nice weather most of the time. It, it's it, I really like my weather. I can talk about that in a second. It looks like it's going to make landfall on the eastern part of the U.S. It's not a Cat Four at the moment. It's actually a Cat Three, and it looks like when it hits, it'll be a Cat Two. So that's. You know, it, dude, I go surfing during Cat 2 hurricanes. <laughs> like, yeah. But there'll still be a yeah. lot of erosion. I bet some of the, the roads that go through the Outer Banks, if you can picture it, it's a sandbar. And there's houses on either side of the road, and that's about as wide as the, the banks are. So I, I bet that at some point the ocean meets the bay and, and tears that thing we'll, apart, and there'll be a construction effort. Yeah. We'll get we'll get some of this storm, at least mm-hmm. w- well, I will, because this is the path of the eye. <coughs> and it, it you, we'll get the outlining layers of it, so we'll probably get bad thunderstorms and wind, probably sixty mile an hour range. High water, but it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be nothing to like. Oh my God, we gotta get to Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, so they're calling it an extraordinary threat for North Carolina, and uh, uh, someone's gonna get it good. Someone's gonna get it good. But yeah. um, you know, I read a tweet where. Uh, New right. York has it so fucking easy because by the time it gets there, it's pissed out by that point. Yep, every time. Yeah. yeah. I, so I grew <laughs> up in New Jersey, and uh, so I grew up in New Jersey in Ocean City, New Jersey. Right, I was two blocks from the ocean, and time and time again, we'd hear like, "Oh yeah, it's projected to land right on you, right on you." But you know how North Carolina sticks out, and all the hurricanes kind of smack into it because it's headed north, but it it pokes out. Uh, New Jersey is the opposite. It's kind of recessed. It's the very top of the boob. And uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, it, it, like, dude, if you could picture yeah. a hurricane running up the woman's body, nothing ever hits the top of the boob, right? You're going to – it's nipple. That's where the hurricane hits. And uh, um, so we never really Can got – Can I ask what is with the nipple and the boob and this kind of thing? Because I'm sat here like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up surfing and they explained to me why – North Carolina and Cape Hatteras has such good waves all the time. They explained that the East Coast was shaped like a boob, and it gets all oh, the uh, right. all the weather traffic. And uh, here I am, seven thousand yep. years later, uh, with the same analogy in my head. Like I look at this, and I'm like, oh yeah, I see it. There's the knee, there's the boob, there's the neck. That's the East Coast of the U.S. The neck being somewhere by like New York or so, and uh, you know that's where the body starts to like stick out again. Yeah, so, we should uh, start getting rain here soon, Woody. If you if you go look yeah. scroll down a little bit, it shows you the actual picture of how big it actually is. We're gonna you'll catch some of this, this storm as well. Yeah, it's a big it, storm. It's a big storm. It's a big deal. We'll... That's a big some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna... I bet that I bet that motherfucker make a porcupine's ass pucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stand outside with my tongue out, licking it. Yeah, Yo, yeah. put your dog collar uh, on and just lick the fucking microphone. Yeah, exactly. Right. That your Shout thumbnail. Like, quick, every, every, uh, every thunder quick, shock again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Irene! <laughs> oh, you bitch! You guys want to call somebody? To realize that I'm from England, so we don't have anything like this. Like the most crazy stuff we'll ever had is like a flood, and that's just from like access rain or whatever. So like people are like, God, how does he hey, do hey, this? Hey, We're hey. from the UK. We don't know. We don't have this. Well, we had an had earthquake. 
thought you had an earthquake. Him. So I was I was actually playing zombies with Mercadurka, and this is uh, what day did zombies come out? Like you know the the full day you twenty third. 23rd right so i was playing zombies with him sort of you know getting some gameplay whatever and uh, i thought somebody was downstairs hanging pictures because i heard like all sorts of thumping and things banging together it was curious to me because it didn't sound like a hammer on a nail but just like there was some banging and, and whatever so um uh, I, I and like that's about all i noticed of the earthquake and then i find out later that my wife wasn't home at the time and that there was an earthquake and that's what i heard and uh, sadly, my mic didn't pick up the earthquake. I would have been totally cool to annotate, like right here. Did you hear that banging in the background? That was the earthquake from you know, the other, from I don't know, it was a couple hundred miles away from here, maybe two hundred. And uh, yeah, so we had an earthquake. Did, did anyone else feel it? Did anyone else notice it? No, uh, sorry, uh, all over Twitter and the news and <laughs> stuff. Oh, I didn't yeah. get an earthquake. Was anything affected? Like big affected? Obviously, just like no. A... So this is the West Coast guys get earthquakes like that all the time. You know, like <laughs> I saw this one like picture, never forget, and it showed like a um, like a I guess lawn furniture, like a table and some chairs with one chair that had fallen over, <laughs> and that was like the damage from her, from the earthquake. Like a chair fell over in the yard. Um, so yeah. The, the, I don't know of any major damage. I know they evacuated the Pentagon, which is this huge military building in Washington, D.C., and uh, uh, they thought they were being attacked again because the whole thing was shaking, and they were right near the epicenter. Yeah. But I haven't heard of anyone like actually getting hurt. Maybe there was. I just didn't hear about it. I didn't hear of any major widespread damage. Um, but we never get earthquakes around here. You know, I've, In all my years, I've never felt an earthquake before. That was my first one. So, uh, so yeah. It was, it was kind of a big deal. Crazy. So, um, Syndicate, do you see the phone Yo. number in the Skype chat? The first one, 05? Yeah. Do you have any idea how to call it? No, because I've never seen an 05 number before. Like, the UK is like either like 0161, like 0171, All that right. kind of thing. I don't even think that's a mobile number. Um, fair enough. Well, then we can't call that poor guy. But here's a number. Who owns the call? Is it Wing? Uh, I do actually. Do you, want, you do. Do, you want... do you have any? Oh, you do. Yeah. I don't have any Skype credit or anything. That's that's, that's what I need. Yeah, I know. Uh, Wings, do you want to pick up the call? It didn't. It dropped when I owned it, and then we can call this guy. Please, Wings, you there? Wings. Wings? Wow, wow. Hurricane got him. This podcast professionalism to the max, right here. So I got redneck. <laughs> I don't have no credits, but oh, I'll buy there. some. All right. I'll buy some soon. Um, is, it, is it expensive Skype credit? I've never used it no, at all. No, no. I, I bought no $10 worth like six months ago, and I have $2 left. So, okay. Wings, you back? Wings? <laughs> yes. Wings? Uh, I hear <laughs> you. You. you can't just leave? All right. So, we're going to hang uh, out. Well, I ran into call? a problem that I was trying to get figured out. Anything you want to share? Well, there's a hurricane coming, and I have like... 75 chickens in the backyard and pens that will blow over by like a 15 mile an hour fart <laughs> so you yeah, so you're saying you ducked out of the call to tend to your cock yes uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't do why people are calling you gay I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> well I, I just addressed the situation we gotta get them put in the shed or something Tomorrow. and then the shed gets blown away <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong with that plan? <laughs> yeah. What you need me, you need me down there with some, with some, uh, with some barbecue wings. sauce. Yeah, the... yeah. <laughs> let's fucking do it up right. Chicken wings for days. <laughs> oh, you can have chicken wings, chicken breasts. <laughs> Fuck the chicken. Oh, I'm not. No, that's not literally. Come on. <laughs> so did you do that as like a hobby, or is it like Fuck. a farmer? Is that what you are? Is that what you do? <laughs> nah, I like eating animals. Eating oh, them. Uh, uh, wings. I think you uh, own the call, Woody. Uh, wings, no, are you it's like not a farmer me. It's, it's Tom does. So let's hang up. Let me own the call, and we'll uh, we'll start calling some people and, and yeah, sure. put a show on. All right, everyone hang up. Yo. All right, all right. So I'm going to call. Awesome. Here's a guy who had sex with his best friend's girlfriend. This is what I'm talking about. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? You watching Painkiller already? 
I sure am. All right. Did you have sex with your best friend's girlfriend? <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> Let me uh, start explaining this. All right, about a couple of weeks ago, me and her, we uh, he was working. He worked third shift. So, uh, so we went out and we went to watch softball. Hey, can you and mute your out- uh, stream? Yeah, I mean, We're yeah, still getting yeah. feedback yeah. here. All right. So I just did that. Um, we went out and we absolutely got wasted. I mean, absolutely wasted. Yeah. We had to call yeah. Chad. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit older, so I'm 23. So, so we got absolutely wasted. We had to call Cab to get home. So we come back to my house and you know whatever happened, you know we we hooked up, did whatever. So I didn't know it. I, she she acts like she don't remember. She told me she don't remember, and she just keep it our little secret. And my best friend, I haven't told him, but I told some of my other friends, and, like, our whole group knows now, and he's the only one that doesn't know. And I just don't know if I should tell him or not. So it's everybody just, knows about this except her boyfriend, who is your best friend. So would you like yeah. Pink Hill already to tell her boyfriend for you? It's actually a service yeah. we offer. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't let, think that's Let me break the news to him. I don't see how this can go wrong, quite frankly. If you have a guy like Redneck uh, breaking the news to this guy... I think that it goes, uh, yeah, it would go smoothly. Smooth. Yeah, I think you come to the right place, and uh, and we can solve this for you. Yeah. <laughs> How so. about you uh, send his number yeah, to we need his number. YouTube channel, and yep. we'll call him up tonight and let him know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Cause it's gonna ruin. It's gonna ruin everything. It's it's gonna be terrible. Wait, wait, wait. How's it? Are you still fucking her? No, it was a one-time thing. It was. Well, what's gonna the ruin it? It's going to ruin it, dude. It's over. Everything's over. Like it, It's not like you're going to get cut off. At this point... It, it can't get any worse if we tell him our you time. Because if you tell him that, he might have a tad bit more respect for you, but... No, I think, I think the way to maximize his respect for you is to let Redneck tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> but I need to know, did, uh, did you lick it? <laughs> no. I don't know if this is oh, what my God. Is. I don't know if it was PCA, um, If you were a true fan of the show, you would have licked it. That's that's how well, we roll. That's one of the worst part of the whole thing. She was on a period, and I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> so it looked like you got a but- you pulled a butcher shop out, huh? Was Wh- what? Wait, 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 it was Wings. What is pulling a butcher shop out? Yo, how don't you know? You ever, how don't uh, I know what a butcher shop dark. is? It was dark. I just thought it was uh, moist. I don't. I don't think this is. Was- Appropriate, but it's, yeah. I, I can go. Yeah, dude, uh, all right. First of all, you should have absolutely not slept with your best friend's girl. You totally violated the bro code. Yeah. You're going to lose your best yeah. friend, and you might get his girl. I don't know how you salvage it from this situation. No, but, here's uh, how you salvage uh, it. You're like, look here. I no, saved you a ton of time, dude. That bitch you with, she a cheater. How you know She's I punched her ass? <laughs> <laughs> to help you out, bro. This is not good. <laughs> This is terrible. T- <laughs> this guy is bad. Like this is yeah. this is not what you want. Um, wow. Uh, so one time, I got back to the house. She laid on my bed and put both her legs behind her head and just hear me. I didn't know what to do. I mean, what do you guys do? I don't know. The stream is saying to hang up on you because you didn't lick it. <laughs> I don't know. I've been I, my, I uh, seriously say you should go ahead and get the number out there and let's go ahead and get this solved for you. Yeah, I think you should give us the number. We'll handle it. I'm definitely not giving it to you over the talk, so because I don't know what happened. YouTube has a like message that. system. Yeah, you message, yeah, message them, them <laughs> and then uh, pick which one of us you want to handle it. Yeah, read the stop chat that way. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I know what I know what Red Wings are. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't way, know, man. What's your so, shops when you fuck a girl in the pier with the and you pull the kind of out and it's got blood all over it? Okay. Oh, that's the worst part. I didn't. I didn't use one of those, and I, I kind of went inside. She didn't. So, I, so, but she was on BC though. So, let's hope that works. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's um, let's get back to the back on topic here. What's this guy gonna do next? Is he gonna talk to his friend? Uh, me? No. We're, we're talking. I'm talking to. I guess the panel. Oh you know, uh, yeah. My my question is. Is his friend a better fighter than him? <laughs> no, okay. The whole twist in the story. But we all we hang out on Tuesday nights because I don't work Wednesday, so we get wasted on Tuesday nights, do whatever. And me and him actually got into a physical fight on Tuesday night. 
And, you know, I'm a Wait, big guy. Wait, past so. Tuesday? So two y'all fall on Tuesday night and you fuck his girl the next day. No, no, this, this happened like two weeks ago. So we all, all right. keep hanging out, so it's awkward. And then just this Tuesday, we got into a physical altercation and I kind of, I threw him up against the wall and I threw his glasses off and broke his glasses and punched him in the face and... So you basically beat him Yeah, but you not really. You fucking beat him up. <laughs> dude, dude, I don't think... You're that. a dick. Yeah, dude. You know what? We are never gonna be friends. Unsub. Like, <laughs> you, and you're not eligible to win the helicopter. God damn it! I don't want you as my friend. <laughs> you actually giving a helicopter away? You doing it a big helicopter? Oh. <laughs> I want to enter this contest, dude. This guy is a cunt, man. This guy. This guy. It's his best friend, and in the last two weeks, he slept with his girl and beat him up. Dude, this is where you terrible. don't offer the service. You don't deserve it. I just hung up on him. That is, you should. Yeah. We should be helping yeah. someone that we can actually help. So say he knows. Yeah. His, his, he got cheated on, or whatever. Yeah, screw that guy, man. You know what? You know what? We have his phone number. Let's help the friend out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Like, uh, he just lost his man card because a he got beat up by his best friend, and no, then his best, that's what I'm saying. I'm not the other guy. Oh, like he got beat up, and then the same guy fucked his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's it like would be tragic move. if his phone number got into the stream, wouldn't it? Ooh. And everyone started calling him. Hang on, I'll do it. You can. Make no, me the bad I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> we're see think... this. Okay, we're cutting you out of the section. Redneck's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, because you this have no guy, control over his keyboard. I I don't have control over his keyboard. It, all right, there's there's four of us in this Skype call. Uh huh. And I just a question. Y'all let me know. <laughs> what you want to vote? Everyone, it's on my Twitter. Yeah. It's on your Twitter. <laughs> Did you just tweet us? I, gonna... just... <laughs> I might be doing. I'm trying to find a freaking number. It's in the <laughs> Skype chat. No, no I'm you, sorry, you, but he you should be like call this he, number for zombies games. All oh, right, yeah, guys. <laughs> does anyone want to ring me? Let's do this. <laughs> oh. Give me a call. A call. <laughs> I'm feeling lonely. Oh my gosh. I'm checking. I'm like hard scoping my Twitter feed at this point. Hold a second. I'm failing. My Twitter feed is not open at right now. <laughs> <laughs> there Did you go. You that guy's wrong, though. He's an absolute. The words you say would be an uh, awful word, but you know. Oh my gosh, he just did it. Absolute dick. He, he, Syndicate just tweeted this guy's phone number to the world. <laughs> and. There you go, guys. All right, so I have no responsibility for what just happened. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> But yes, I tweeted it all, so people were spamming me. It's his me. best friend, and he just slept with this girl and then beat him up he, he the other day. At, he, he lost me at the... I beat him up. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is funny. This is the first time that, we, uh, <laughs> that we've turned one around. On, you know, every caller we've ever had, we've been their advocate. But this guy yeah. is just impossible to love. So... Uh, and and now the stream is just so. Oh, yeah. it's, so you for, can't you can't beat your best friend's ass and fuck his girl too in the same week or whatever. Uh, that's fucked up. It, I mean so, it, that's fucked up. I can't go there. So this wow. I feel like we did something good today. Now I, I wish that our subscriber was the good guy. I wish the person watching the show was the you know the winner in this situation like last week where um, he might be. He might be a subscriber, he might be a viewer, but not just on today. Let's let's go with that. Imagine let, if he was in here and he found out, and then he's just been like, I got, I got beat up the other day. He And I got my glasses right. broken. I have got it. beat up the other day, and my glasses were broken, and I've had suspicions about my girlfriend. I would love it if he were here. Oh, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, we insta-karma'd this guy. And um, while I didn't do it, I, I don't condone <laughs> it. You know, or but no, what's the opposite of condone? Where I don't... did everyone get his number from? I don't understand. I just, what's happened? Yes. Someone... Yeah. Suddenly, his number's been posted on the internet like fifteen thousand times I already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are getting his voicemail already. They're saying I called him. Syndicate Zombie Train is in the chat, oh, and he everyone rape train him. Yep, do it. Do it. <laughs> I just put that in the first place, shouldn't I? Rape train him. Uh, I'll wop trade him, put some dub stuff on and ring him. How the hell do you play zombies as much as you do? Just get good at it. I'm so bad. 
I'm so it's bad like, at zombies. You know, everyone's like, how can you do it again and again and again? It's just like, well, what do you do? You play multiplayer. What do you do? You kill people again and again and again on a map. Dude, I'm, I am I don't know if I'm better than Syndicate or not. It's close. Like, the verdict's, I think the jury's out. But, uh, or the jury's we'll see when the gameplay comes out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it's hard to say which one of us is better. But my, my channel's been filled with compliments on uh, how no, wonderful no, no, no. I am at Eric, zombies. Yeah, yeah. Eric is a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if we all four went and played zombies, I guarantee I'd be the first one down uh, every I, fucking round. I, I, not I, I, if Eric's I went there. Down. I went down first, actually, when we played. Did I? Did I not? Yeah, but I, you led. I, I, by the end of it, it was clear. Like I actually got second in kills and points in that in that lobby. I didn't realize it, but um, uh, <laughs> it was a distant second. It was a, like the, it was you, and then the the other three of us were kind of crumbled. Uh, oh yeah, together. um, I know this is like a bit off topic, but Quantum's who we played with today is actually a really nice guy, and he actually lost someone really close to him. So just want to say massive respect to Quantum's. You know, like he was in a awesome mood when we spoke to him like you know we last speak to him but you know i think he's lost a family member today and just want to say a massive like you know it's okay it's gonna be all right man you know just hold on in there i don't know him too well but he seemed like a really awesome guy when we spoke to him oh, so just that's sad you know there you go I've been, i'm just saying i play zombies like six times in my life and that shit bores the fuck out of me about like round 28 <laughs> round 28 is pretty hot well i guess it depends on the map i mean the last time i played it we went to 41 and it, it was so fucking boring. Yeah, really. I only <laughs> play. It's hard to go that far. I only play uh, with a team of four, and I think in general scores tend to be lower in teams of four. Tom, it seems you, like it's a lot harder. Would you agree with that? That that people tend to do a little better solo. You do so much easier solo because, like, if I if I was playing with like three others of myself, then you know it's easy. Like, obviously, you know, just to say it like that. If I was playing with people who, who I know I can rely on to play with. Then it's absolutely, easy, you know, excited. It's like playing solo as well. When you're playing with four really good players, like another three of players, but when you're playing solo and you're a good player, it's just perfect. Hmm, okay. But like so, solo is easier because you know you can yeah. pause it, you can go out, you don't have to worry about like getting downed and then. But then again, on solo, if you go down and you're at, you go down, you're out, aren't you? That's it over. Whereas multiplayer, if you've got four yeah. good people, you can keep going. Yeah. So it's kind of. Easy. I I think solo would be a little easier because how many times have you wanted to go take a piss and you couldn't? <laughs> One nice yeah. thing about multiplayer though is like, sometimes when you're down, there's someone next to you with like a ray gun and a thunder gun who can escort you to jug and, and sort of take care of you. Whereas yeah. in, uh, in solo, it's so much more funny though because like the situations we got in. Especially with a new moon map, it's just amazing. You know, like with the, the space arts that'll grab you, teleport you across the map or something, and you just like all split up. It's just so much fun. They've, like they've really nailed it with that. It's really good. Like we, we like we had so much fun. Woody, he was having so much trouble with them space arts, just going down. They'd grab you and run away with you. <laughs> we were just like I, I've only played multiplayer. Insane. To me, zombies isn't really about the level that you get or you know how many kills you get or things like that. It's it's the social experience, which actually multiplayer is yeah. a lot like that for me too. But zombies even more so. Like it, if I'm looking for a stress free like hang out with friends experience, that's where zombies is. If I'm looking for sort of a team competitive type thing, that's multiplayer to me. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm I'm wait, I'm still is. waiting on the next game where that isn't Call of Duty. Oh, I wonder how long. When does Battlefield Beta come out? Is it October? I'm not. I'm not even Battlefield. I'm like I want a game that I like, Left for Dead. Something I could get on with people and play, and I have to worry about. <clears throat> when you go into a lobby and you're a Wings of Redemption, you have to excel every lobby because there's always a chance that somebody in there knows who the fuck you are. Well, and I know we beat this horse to death, but it, it gets annoying. I like to go in a game where I'm not expected to be good at. <laughs> you know what I. That's pressure for me too, and like I don't my um, you know, who Woody's gamer tag is right as opposed to me, uh, isn't really built on him being some awesome gamer, and even the guys who are friendly, even the guys who say, "Oh my gosh, this is incredible! I'm in the same lobby as Woody. I'm so happy. This is a great thing." Uh, even guys who were like nothing but wonderful toward me, give me a, a kind of internal pressure, like, "Oh my gosh, I hope I lead this lobby. You know, I hope I beat everyone in here. I hope I get a chopper." Yo, I'm back. So. Uh, that's that's what happens when when you hop on Call of Duty, and I it happens almost every lobby now. That's just what it is. But I I can't complain. I did it you know myself. What's the topic? I missed it. I apologize. We were talking I about uh, pressure of doing well when you play online. 
You mean people joining sessions seeing how bad you do? Like me, I played uh, others live streaming multiplayer on Black Ops and friggin' I, I just got annihilated. I'm sorry, I just don't like Black Ops online. Because um, <laughs> did you did you see the um, it was at games where it had like fake crowds and extras and we was all doing the uh, free for alls for ten minutes. No. The, um, oh, I forgot what it was completely called. Oh, comment, it was a commentator showdown V2. Oh, oh right, right, right. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, and, and I was in that, and people were actually surprised to see how like okay I did mm -hmm. in um, you know, like multiplayer because it wasn't Black Ops. Because Black Ops is a, is a, if I have to say which has been the worst Call of Duty to date, now I'm probably going to get punched in the face for this again, but I'd say <laughs> Black Ops because I love Call of Duty 4. It was the best, in my opinion, the best Call of Duty. World at War was amazing. Like At first, I did hate it, and then when I came back to it, I was like, no, this is really good. And you know, then it had zombies. I was like, it's even better. And then um, Modern Warfare 2, I thought it was an amazing game if they would have just got rid of noob tubes and all that crap that was involved in it. I don't understand to this date why they still haven't done a patch to remove it because no one wants it there. Right. But then Black Ops, you, you, like, you know how Call of Duty has evolved, don't you? Yeah. Through, through community feedback, and a lot of this shit that we have now is because some of these people are retarded in a sense asking for all this stuff that's crazy like sn silent sniper rifles you know for example who the fuck thought of a silent sniper rifle that's cool well, I, on, on all honesty I remember being on COD 4 back in the day and just being like oh I wish I had a silencer for this sniper you know on, honestly I'm not joking and then we're like right I wish I had that but then they're like yeah there you go a silencer for your sniper rifle guess what it won't be a one hit kill so then you're just like really so <laughs> that's why it's stressful it needs to be nerfed in some way, like a silence. Yeah, definitely. Rough. Um, you can't just be grizzing it up with a silent sniper and no yeah. one can see where you are. A lot of the feedback they've accepted from the community has made it much better. Like, there are some things they've done that I really appreciate. You know, heck, it, as it evolves, as it goes from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops, the fact that noob tubes have been nerfed is a really great thing. As we go from it Black is, Ops to is. Modern Warfare 3, the fact that um, Ghost has been nerfed, the fact that uh, there was something else they did. Oh, I think Last Stand is gone. Um, I hope you know, so. These are good evolutions as well. So uh, yeah. it's called second chance or last chance. Do you think Modern Warfare Three is going to take you know take the torch with that? Be like, right, okay, mm -hmm. we've seen how much you know they want the perks changing, they want things removing, that kind of thing. Are they going to go mm -hmm. right? We're going to take that. and We're going to work with that. I you know we're going to do so. community feedback. Here's my prediction. I predict that in October, Battlefield Three is the the game of the month, and then Call of Duty comes out and sort of steals its crown, and then next year it's just like this year. I could be wrong, and I'm not rooting yeah. for it to go that way. Like, I'm kind of open. If Battlefield 3 is more fun, I want to play it. But, um, you know, that, that's that's how I think it's going to play out. What are you going to do yeah. when Zombies is gone? Uh, like, I'm going to be doing multiplayer, me, Modern Warfare 3, mainly, because, like, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, I've played Battlefield 2, and, like, playing that on PC, which is just so amazing on PC, it's like playing mm -hmm. a completely different game. But a lot of the COD people, you know, like a sick of Call of Duty and they just hate it, that kind of stuff, they're all like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go play Battlefield 3. You know, they've seen the trailers for Battlefield 3, and it's like, it's going to be the best game ever. If you've never played Battlefield before and you don't know how it plays out, it's going to be... You're going to get fucking stomped yeah. on. Yeah. See, so you understand, yeah. it's <laughs> Trust me. A, you're not going to be that one person who's going to go, get in a 25 kill streak. Like, you're only going to get a few kills before you die, unless you've got a legit yep. team. You're going to have a really slap around the face when that game comes out if you think you're going to go and one-man army it. Massively. For those of you guys that never played Battlefield, you need to go pick up a copy like I did yeah. and try it again. Yeah, but no, we need to play that shit again tonight. Oh, you I'm know ready. what I left out in talking about community feedback? Commando is not in Black Ops anymore, right? They have totally. That's right. They, I still hate panic knifing, but I rarely feel commando knife. I never say, like, that guy totally teleported l l way outside of a real life knife range. No, you know, for the most part, when I get knifed, Every now and then, but for the most yeah, part, when the I start, get my... Do you remember when that came out though? Everyone mm -hmm. was like, "What?" Yes. Like, what? Yeah. And then they fixed it. Like, when it came out, their that. sound was even on a scale of one to ten. Their sound came out a one, and they've improved it to like a three and a half, four. <laughs> like, you know, and uh, and that's that's a good thing too. And then um, yeah, so that was two things I want to mention. They improved the sound. They improved Commando. When uh, Modern Warfare Three comes out, I bet the knife is oh they they're fixing panic knifing in Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, I hope so. With a yeah, you gotta have, have an equip a knife or something like that. I've I've heard different things. You know, I've heard that um, you like you have to that. pull out the knife and then you'll be able to use it. So you know that'll remove the panic thing. I've also heard double knife. You know, somebody somebody I know knows a guy who talked to four zero two. All of these new players gonna have a tough time then, isn't it? If it's a double knife, he'll have a tough time. If you have yeah. to pull it out in advance, he'll be fine. Will there be a perk then? So, you know, like, how he's going, oh, there's no commando, but will there be a perk that's going to be, like, it's a one-stab knife then? So it's like, I... if you want to kill him in one, you have to have it. But no, the perk list got came out, didn't it? 
Yeah, the perk list came out, and people are looking it. at it Missed like it. it's accurate. Um, I can send it to you. People are looking at that perk list like it's accurate. And, and it, Activision has a history of only really going after the accurate leaks. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah. and they, they sure went after that one. That strike is removed off my channel, by the way. Good. Uh, That's nice. Bulge. That was bull, though, that they gave you that. It was. It was. It was a shame because that video was destined for the uh, the YouTube homepage and it would have been a big opportunity for me. But um, yeah. they yanked it away. But yeah, definitely send it out because I definitely want to have a look at it. Because loads of people have been talking about you can get like an all like sneak class basically or whatever you know you cannot be seen on the radar or by anything yep so it's like invisible what is it what are you running you're running blind eye assassin and ninja <sighs> so yep. basically As the invisible class assassin is pretty much it's pretty much ghost and blind eye is pretty much ghost pro <laughs> yep. and then and so they, uh, assassin actually i don't think a motion sensor is there no more I, I want to say no. there's a... <laughs> that, that was too overpowered. That the one, motion sensor? On Black Ops, on Black Ops, could you avoid huh. a motion sensor? Yes, Hacker Pro. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. What, did you not appear on it? Mm -hmm. No, it was a pro version, didn't appear, he didn't appear. Seen, didn't appear, and you also seen where we were at. See, that's the thing, I didn't actually know that, so I was just about to throw a big flip saying that it was the worst thing they put in it, because, you know, I've seen a lot of big commentators use it, and it massively helps you out no matter what, but, like, a lot of people aren't exactly going to get Hacker Pro, are they? Like, you know, if you just think about it, and, like, for me, yeah. when I played it, I didn't have Hacker Pro. If I would have known it, I probably would have gone for it, but, you know, it was. I always get caught out by it. I'd see it, and they'd already knew I was there, and I'd just get annihilated. Oh, there you go. Something... If, I, need you, I need to watch your guys' videos, and you can teach me how to play Black Ops. <laughs> there's, a, um, there's a guy in the stream saying that the PC requirements for Battlefield 3 are going to drive people towards Modern Warfare 3. That's interesting. I wonder if uh, well, the PC I know this. are too high. I played on the Alpha, and... Over half the people that got codes couldn't run the game. Damn. Oh. Is it still out there or is it closed? Alpha closed month, about a month ago. Oh, right. I, I really wanted to get on that. That would have been awesome. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. It was a fun game. It, I it, keep it hearing got, that it's... I'm sorry. It got me to that point that everybody gets at, like, where you play in a game and you want to keep playing the game. You know you got to go to work. You know you got to go do hmm. something else, but you can't get yourself away from the game. And I had that feeling when I was playing the Alpha. It's like, I want to keep playing this. It's a game that you want to play. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. That is just... That, that's, that's what you want. When I, when I played Call of Duty 4, like, I didn't really have it for Modern Warfare 2, but when I played Call of Duty 4 and then, you know, that was, like, big, I was just like, I wanted to come on and play that. I prestiged to, like... I prestiged, like, over 20 times for three different accounts, you know, just because I love the experience of ranking up. I love the weapons. And I know it had, like, bullshit, like, Juggernaut in it. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, it is Juggernaut, isn't it? Juggernauts are zombies. Uh, but you could counter it with, like, stopping power and stuff. So I just hope they get it balanced right. Do you want to see COD points back? That is the main thing I want to I do. It. I liked COD points. And, and, I like COD points. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like, as a commentator, it really helps me to be able to get the weapons out of order. So I know you have to earn the weapons, but, like, attachments and things like that. You know, that I'll hear another commentator say, like, hey, I heard that, you know, the ACOG scope comes up quicker than the red dot scope. And rather than me having to somehow get 150 headshots to get some random scope and test that out, <laughs> you know, if yeah. I have COD points, then I can be like, all right, you know, I want you know, these attachments for this weapon, and it helps me rank a better channel. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what about you, Wings? I you don't really care. I, I, want the, I want the camos to go back to be headshots. I seriously, I, I do want that. Oh. Hey, here's another thing. So someone just, here's, I'm going to take a step back. Gamers often have ideas for games, but they forget about the like unintended consequences of their thoughts. And uh, somebody yep. just said COD points or defeat boosters, or they get rid of boosters. And it's like, oh, yeah, I, I was about to say that when you said about oh, you were about camo. to say that too. Yeah, so yeah, like camo. people would headshot boost for uh, gold camos back in COD Four. <laughs> people would you know boost for this stuff, and now you know with COD points, just get the camo you want. You're good to go. Yeah. So, I, I wish they'd put back stopping power and Juggernaut back in Call of Duty, both of them. I do, too. One thing I don't like about Black Ops, and it's one of the main things I don't like, there's obviously two of them, is that Sleight of Hand Pro is so prevalent. There's been so many times I got killed by a guy who emptied his entire clip, and because he had the dominant second perk on, he was able to reload and kill me before I could get to him and finish him off. Yep. And I, I didn't like that. Between sleight of hand being so predominant, and then you have you know Ghost 
being super dominant. That's what it, Black Ops, in my opinion, is probably the the easiest game to play of the Call of Duties online. Really, I find Modern Warfare Two makes me feel so bad right now, Wings. Honestly, I can't. I, I jump on that game and I can't even do well on it. Wings <laughs> is right to, though. I'd have I, to agree with him on this one. Like, really, I think Modern Warfare Two is the easiest. In Modern Warfare Two, I'll t- I could work my way to a predator. Which gets me to a Harrier, which gets me to a Pavlo, and all of a sudden I have a good game. I could get two of those in a game fairly frequently, and I'm a yeah, better but, player now than I was last year. But I'm looking at it this way. People complain about the stacking kill streaks. I ran 7, seven, uh, seven 9, and 11. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. I ran. So I had to get to 7 anyway. So getting one extra kill to get to Blackbird is still the same thing to me. Yep. Oh, I, I tend to run... <laughs> Napalm. Oh, well, if I'm if I'm trying for an easy high kill game, seven five nine is my my. Let's see. Uh, at my point in the game, I but there's wait. no point to run anything else but the big kill streak because people want to see the big scores. Not yeah. for me. <laughs> I don't know that they even watch my games. I just want to not embarrass <laughs> myself. But you know, if I can get to a chopper gunner twice, I, I just did that recently. It's I could game. actually hold a better KD at a le- at something like Napalm and Mortar Team and Spy Plane. Or like Napalm yeah. Mortar Team Attack Helicopter. Is that what you're mainly with, uh, Rings? Is it like, is KD a big thing to you? Well, it's for me because it's the only stat I can control. Like, because I have such Wind a shitty... Wind can go out the window, can't it? That's it, just, like backing it, out and joining. Well, not that. I have like almost a four win loss. I do. All right. <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> Nearly every Call of Duty I've played, it's either been like a 1-5 or something just due to teammates but, not backing out and that kind of stuff. Well, the, the, but the fact is I can't control that one. Mm-hmm. It, mine, mine should be like a 9 or a 10. It should, because I have yeah. at least 750 losses from people just host migrating. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mine, mine used to be almost a 4. It was like a 376 at its peak. And uh, now it's like a, I don't know, 3 2 or something like that. Like I, I play for wins a lot more than I do for KD. But um, uh, yeah, I think it would be, I don't know what my true win loss ought to be, maybe 5 ish, 6 ish. But. Yeah, host migrating causes a loss. Um, something else causes a loss too, but there are a lot of fake losses in there. I'm gonna say yeah. this: I have maybe 150 legitimate losses, and I have over 4,800 wins combined. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody can do the math on that. I don't know. I'm sure video game stats are not that interesting, but uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I think Modern Warfare 2 is the easiest game to get a you know a ton of kills because to me, all I had to do was get to my five twice and you know i might go 40 and 2 on a game like that that's that's easier than black ops for me yeah but like i said i, I ran to build kill streaks mm. and people will shoot down less stuff in black ops the choppers are easier to use in black ops like chopper gunners and stuff like that Yeah, like Call of Duty 4, though, like, I, I always go back to that, you know, I always turn back that to be the best game. Like, I, I could easily... I didn't like Call of Duty 4. Jump so, you didn't. I, man, I liked Call I was a fucking it. monster at that game. I was not. Everybody's a monster at that game, because it's the easiest Call of Duty to do well in online. <laughs> See, that was I was... Uh, I'd, just be, I'd have, like, gameplay after gameplay after gameplay after gameplay. COD 4 is where I learned to play, so I was not a COD 4 monster. But, um, uh, people forget about the problems with COD 4. Like, I remember Blaine Truth, who was, you know maybe the biggest or second biggest one of the biggest commentators at the time uh he had t-shirts that said you know no frag times three on them people forget about you know how frustrating jug was although it was kind of balanced with stopping power it was frustrating people forget about uh, there was another big cod four frustration in addition to um, it, it, people say jug like like is this bad thing only people mm-hmm. complain about jug was fucking snipers Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Because they get hit mark and it was like, oh no, juggernaut. You yeah. I didn't oh, get, I no, missed out you got a hit marker with your no recall assault rifle. Right, but don't forget, right. like <laughs> online, the community on YouTube, a lot of them are just for snipers, aren't they? Like making montages. Like, look how big, you know, the, like mm-hmm. clans are getting that. As sniper clans, they're getting huge. Now, like optic and stuff I think like that. The people who have played COD, you know, before Black Ops, like World at War, MW2, and COD 4. Most people will agree the biggest problem with Black Ops is the hit detection. It, I yeah, mean, it's no got matter the same if you want as it's got the same yeah. one as COD Four. Nah, COD Four it, is much better. It's running Which off the COD Four to... engine, dude. How can you say much better? You can't. I'm talking about lag. Lag. No, 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 no. Now see, Vondahar, 
War Black Ops is running off a, a, a modded World at War engine, which is ran which was a modded Call of Duty 4 engine. Von they modded I tweeted. can't believe that. Honestly, <laughs> I, c I couldn't believe that the Black Ops engine is running basically the COD 4 like hit detection accuracy. Otherwise, I'd get the killers like when using you know, like say your Famas when that was super accurate and that's how everyone used. I could see everyone online beasting up with it, and then I'd be like, right, give me the gun, try and use it, and I feel like I'm spraying everywhere. Hey, I'm a little player. ahead of them. That's all you got to do. Yeah, you know what? It <laughs> was um, it was wings. Him. I remember when Modern Warfare 2 came yeah. out. I said something about hit detection. He's like, no, go back and play COD 4, and you'll see how much better it is. And I went back and played COD 4, and he was right. Like when I play COD 4 now, I haven't done it a whole lot, but. The hit detection feels worse than Black Ops. It's old school, not as good, not as advanced. I think people forget that these games are actually getting better. I think people, here's another prediction. I bet people will look back at Black Ops with um, you know fondness in their eyes in the same way that they do Modern Warfare 2 and uh, COD 4, you know, and, and World of War for that matter. People hate on Black Ops with such passion but they forget how bad Modern Warfare 2 was. Modern Warfare 2 sucked. NewTubes ruined that game. At the end of Modern Warfare 2, people were setting their discs on fire. People were cursing out you know, Infinity War. <laughs> Breaking them. Yeah. And people say, you know, oh, well, you take away new tubes, and, and Modern Warfare 2 was actually good. No, 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 no. You're forgetting Commando. Commando just frustrated the hell out getting of Getting Painkiller. Lightweight Painkiller. Right. Between Painkiller and Commando, there were so many deaths that weren't your fault in Modern Warfare 2 that it ruined game after game after game. You know, you were right there, was... there on the edge of your big kill streak, and then some guy with Painkiller, who you outgunned, outguns you. Some guy with Commando launches, like, teleports at the top of the stairs and kills you. And I haven't even mentioned the noob tubes. The noob tubes in that game were ridiculous. Now, if they fixed all that stuff, if they fixed all the things I just mentioned, Commando, noob tubes, and um, what was the other one I just said? I lost my train of thought. Commando, noob tubes, and painkiller. Pain yeah. pain. Then you would have Black Ops, right? Now they say, oh, Black Ops sucks, sucks, sucks. The FAMAS is too good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you fixed all those things, people would be looking at the ACR and saying, well, everyone can get a good game with the ACR. You know, all your bullets hit on target, so it kills the fastest. If, um, you know, if they fixed the ACR, they'd be looking at some other gun. There were, you know, there were a lot of problems with Modern Warfare 2 that got buried because there were other problems that overshadowed it. And now they're looking back at Modern Warfare 2 with fondness in their hearts? No, 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 man. It, <laughs> if, uh, you know, Black Ops will look better when uh, it's the old game. I like Black I asked Ops. Vondahar, I asked him, I said, look, does theater mode game recording, does that have something to do with what I seem, what it seems like to me is hit detection lag? Is it because of the theater mode recording? And he gave me kind of a beat around answer, but he said no, that that don't have anything to do with it. But uh, I wonder what it you know, is. You know, I've looked into how this stuff works, and you know, they actually – it's not straight up a matter of lag. Like there are predictive engines that determine where your character is going to go, and, and they do everything they can to compensate for this <coughs> lag. You can only predict too, so much, right? Because you know you might quick turn. Yeah. Right. But uh, um, I don't know. It, it's it's complicated to write code that uh, compensates for you know the time it takes for packets to fly around. I hope they do better. We'll see. Yeah. I'm ready for something new. Well, I'll ask the chat now. What I'm all, what I'm all to say, you know, like what is their favorite Call of Duty? Like out of all the ones, all, all the ones that have been, like what is their call, favorite Call of Duty? And I can say hands down, and I know World like, of War. Say, like you know, will, people love World at War. I, you know, didn't have a lot of bullshit and stuff like that. And what would you change about it though? What would you change about World at War to make it better? MP40. <laughs> that was my answer too, and I've hardly well, played any. Round drum for the win. No, here's what here's <laughs> what you do. You make the extended mags. Take up the first perk slot and you fix World at War. So if you want an MP40 with the extended mags, you can't, you can't, you can't defend against bouncing Betty's. Yeah. You can't yeah, well, have. You, ever say you, dogs can't, the you can't kill tanks. You, wait. I, if I was no. to go back to that, right? Dogs are great, but I would chuck the tanks. Yeah, I'd get rid of them. Oh, I love the tanks. The tanks added a strategic element to it. They were good fun, but it was just like. Oh, it's so stressful like when you did when you yes, had like you suck, dude. I could take every tank out in the you must never watch me play you World of War. For it, though. No, honestly, I've not I've not seen you play the World of War. I'd have to say I will single handedly kill six or seven tanks each game. I look at a tank as a free kill. Because yeah. it takes I can you can kill them with one satchel charge. 
And Dude, usually people that jump to eight chains to one eight. No, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah, big, yeah. they're slow, and you can throw satchels over walls. Okay. Yeah, when the tank drives over it, it's boom. Yeah, and you can throw two on the ground next to the tank, it'll kill it. Boom, two free kills right there, because usually a dumbass sitting in the gunner, too. <laughs> some free sniper kills. Yeah, yeah. popping yeah. his head up. It, it, you it, it, rarely it. ran into a good tank driver. Rarely. Dude, tanks were fucking easy. They were they they were fucking easy, and people complained yeah, about I've them. Yeah, never seen it was like my biggest problem. You know, I I when I could jump on that game, I, I the only thing I seemed to be able to get killed by was a sniper. You know, either that was some hard scoping or like quick scoping like a beast. That was really the only thing that seemed to kill me. Kill me like when I got into a close up gunfight, I'd usually seem to win it, whether that be drop shot and I just like you know pre firing or something like. That. I always seemed to. I love how top I love how War of War had every gun had its purpose. Like a machine gun had a lot of ammo. It had a little bit of idle sway, but it was pretty much like a, a rifle with lots of ammo and lots of penetration. Rifles had hardly any recoil, but they had very, very small clips. Submachine guns, really, really good up close, sucked medium and long range, except the MP40, but that's, that's a thing. different story. Like, what about the so PSH? That was one thing I liked about COD 4. I felt like there was a way to use all the guns and be effective with them, right? Like, you know, I Absolutely. would use the right gun for the right map, right? Like, I'd use shotguns on vacant, for example. And, you know, if you use a shotgun right on vacant, you can be that frustrating guy to play against. Like, oh, my gosh, a shoddy, really? How was I supposed to compete with that? Well, you know, he's staying away from the long lines of sight and such. But, yeah, um, you'd use the assault rifle on some maps. SMGs, right? You could use the MP5 on a lot of different maps. You know, on Overgrown, you'd think it'd be a sniper assault rifle. But if you work, if you travel the map right, you can use an MP5 on Overgrown. I could run that gun on any map. I mean, is this? Mm -hmm. But um, yep. uh, on uh, the, the later Call of Duties, I often feel like, oh, no, you know, this, this just isn't an SMG map. You know, if I try to use an SMG on Array, for example. Discovery. Discovery. Oh, that's a better example. You know, it's like, it's a pain in the butt. You always find yourself in a long run of sight. Hazard's another example, <laughs> you know, to, which I guess is what Cliffside on World War. I, I have a yeah. hard time using SMG on that map because I always if, just. You know, if, okay. if you made yourself use an SMG every day, every time you played for about a week or two, you, you would be you'd be right back up to where you was with an assault rifle. Yeah, SMGs and assault rifles on Black Ops are pretty much the same, especially with rapid fire. I I'm. Almost, I'm almost at the point where SMGs are better than assault rifles because of rapid fire. Hmm. Oh, you guys wanna, let's kick into the post show. <laughs> okay, we can. All right. There we go. So that was Painkiller Already, episode 67, with Redneck and Syndicate. Thanks for having us on. All right. Time to pull my teeth out. Jesus, get and down get dirty. get real. <laughs> get real, son. <laughs> All right. So there's a commercial coming. Where's that was my good. commercial? Oh, man. I, I'm perfectly honest. Like, the shotguns suck too much in Black Ops, and so do the light machine guns. But yeah, the SMGs and assault rifles are on par. A whale can yeah. consume half a gun. <laughs> that was what? my commercial over my mic. Oh, Sorry. Right. I was like, what? But no, uh, Wings, like, I, I, I'm saying, like, you could give me any gun, honestly. You could give me any gun on COD 4, and I could get a gameplay with it. Like, probably first game you gave Scorpion. me. Give me Black Ops. Give, easily. Easily really? get your game in Scorpion. Honestly, because Call of Duty 4, in my opinion, is, it was the easiest to do well on. Oh, it's like crushing my game that I love. Like, I, it is. I could get beat down by really good players. I, per, I personally, myself, I'm, I am a very good player on the stick. <laughs> and you know what else? He's uh, modest. Uh, there's no reason to be <laughs> humble. It's like, I know I'm a good player. My stats prove it. Yeah, I mean, I, I've proved I, it I, time I and time like, again I'm a super constant. good player. COD 4. I was confident with COD 4, I was confident with World at War, I was confident with Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, you know, like, you'd say it was easy, I'd say, like, it was really easy. If, you got, if you're running UMP, everyone hated it, that's why you don't do games plays with it. But if you use that gun, you're going to absolutely annihilate and get a nuke in 23 seconds, aren't you? So, obviously. But with Black Ops, <laughs> I can't just get, I can't jump in the game. I, could, I wouldn't even attempt for a gameplay. Because I know I just won't seem to be able to do it because like I'll either start shooting a guy first, hit his chest, and then he'll I like I'll drop shot him or something and I won't even get the kill. He'll it's just turn just around after I've been shooting really for ages. It probably is. I don't know because I've just changed TVs and I used to play like on a small TV and I played a bigger TV. And when I'm looking at this recoil and the person's in front of me and I'm spraying, I'm just like you know or I'll burst fire. I still feel like I'm going like doing a circle around him. That's why I use the hard hit. perk so often. <laughs> what sensitivity do you play on? Two. Uh, 
<clears throat> no, Syndicate. Well, now this is where I'm probably going to get slaughtered here, but I've always, always played on Insane. On no matter what. For, for zombies. Yeah. Mainly no, no, for no. zombies. For, no, 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 for everything. COD 4 oh. started it on Insane. Went over 2, Insane. World at War, Insane. And then Black Ops started it on Insane, was doing alright with it. And then I, I, Black Ops is the only one I've ever lowered my sensitivity on. Ever. Because, you know, I used the M16 on like Black Ops to try and get accurate hits instead of me like moving too far to the right, too far to the left or whatever to try and like slow things down. But drop it from ten, because let me tell you, accuracy is. Oh no, no, I have, I've dropped it on te from ten on uh, Black Ops at the moment. But you know, like when I play zombies, obviously I put it back up to insane. Why? But, like I drop it on zombies. Why? Do you really need to turn on a zombie that quickly? You yes. You know what? I play Dude, on. Get out of situations. If you see the situation to get out with, you won't be able to get I'll out let, of it. I, I've played zombies. I played zombie like six times and I got to level 41 on that fucking theater stage on a two at never at no point did I not know where the zombies were coming from I'm with Syndicate if you run a tight if you run in a tight rape train like say you can run a big rape train and you can play on like one sensitivity and probably crouch the entire time and that's how much you wouldn't need it but like if you're playing uh, like tight corners or you're not you don't want to do rape trains you want to run the map and you get trapped into a corner by a zombie and you know like say there's that one gap you can get out of the best thing to do is to sprint in like 360 and you'll find the gap in the in the train, and you'll just run straight through it, and you'll be back in the game. It's like a sp you just do like a spin spin technique, and you're out of it straight away. So instead of going, oh, I can't see anywhere, you'll spin, and you'll be out. It sounds weird, but it trust me, it works. I know. So you're saying you couldn't do that on four? No, because you'd be you'd be halfway by the mm. by the time. The so you really need to spend one hundred. You need to spend one hundred and eighty degrees. So in like a microsecond. If, if you want to try and get all the zombies, like say it's an insta kill and there's a zombie to your right, you know, you want to make the most of it or something. Oh, it's you a know, huge I've, I've had this debate with like people that. so many often. It, let's just go back to multiplayer, where my experience is at. <laughs> but wait, wait, we're not talking about multiplayer, right? Like I think Syndicate would. No, 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 no. Say, there's no difference. What's the difference between a zombie behind you and say, a guy with a gun behind you? What's the difference? The difference is if you're facing one way, you're going to turn all the way to turn around to the zombie, and you haven't got quick revival. I look at it. I look at it like you're this. Gonna knife if, that zombie, if you you're get yourself in that position, down, you deserve you to die. Down. Not at all. Because no, zombies. No, so, it's you can't. You can say that with multiplayer. If you've got, you know, like you don't need. If you've got slow sensitivity and you can't turn and take someone out, that's your fault. For not to, you know, not being ready to turn. But if you're in zombies and you've like you've got your back against the wall and there's a zombie that's got behind you through a window or something, and then this guy's turned and smacked you. By the time you turn with like what say two sensitivity that you're playing, by the time you've turned to him, he's already hit you again. By the time if I was playing on insane, I could turn straight away, and knife and kill him. Or even attempt to like I could turn and start spraying. By the time you've turned and then start to spray or turn and then knife, you're down. Yeah, that's I the difference between, and I know from experience. See, I'm to just me, gonna say this. You're talking to a guy who's probably four times the multiplayer that, than you are. But yeah, and but we're you about and, and, at, no matter. It doesn't matter. There's no, no okay, difference. I'll do this. I bet you're you, talking I bet to you a guy right, who's four I bet times you right the zombie now, player you are. I bet yeah. you right now I could get on zombies and stay toe for toe with Tom and not even know the fucking map. Let's stream. You know it. why? Oh, let's do it. Oh baby. yeah, there you it is. Why, you know, Hold you know out. why Hold I can do this because I use my brain. I think, well, where's my back at? Oh yeah. Let's show it. I can, that's why I'm not about to go. I'm not about to get on to play six time. hours. What? You are not going to play six you hours anyway. For as long as you can anyway. Once you get a rape train locked down and you get, you master that map. Say if it's this new map, the second the second attempt. I don't have, have the new map because they didn't well, have like, the multiplayer map. So. Out this map. Second time I attempt, I get to around thirty. Second time, straight away. If you go I'll to Shangri La. Oh, did do five? You guys both have five. I could do five. I could rape train for hours. It just depends how many hours you give me. Let's see. Let's let's let Wings uh, do his That's thing. thing. Uh, dude, I'm not playing zombies. Like zombies is a five-hour endeavor. Well, there I, you go. I'll tell you what. If you play for five hours, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Well, give me a hundred bucks. I went to level forty-one on my first attempt on the theater thing. You need to do it. You look at my fucking stats, you can see them. I'm not saying if you've ever made a five hour game. You know, I'm saying if you hop on and your first game goes to five say, hours, like, like you're claiming. Anyone can call out, you know, oh, I'm better. Cause, so what, you're going to say you're going to beat me on zombies because you play on two sensitivity, whereas I play on insane. I'm saying, I'm saying insane out. does not mean shit. Syndicate, I'd like, to do, I'd like to add this to the conversation. I am also much better at zombies than you, but I refuse to play or prove it or stream it <laughs> or provide any kind of evidence about it because it would take me too long. I didn't say I didn't say I was better. So I'd go toe for toe with him. Like I would kill. Okay, just as all right. Well, then I take it back, Tom. I am just as good as you. 
but I refuse to play. <laughs> I, 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 it's boring as <laughs> no, fuck. Why do you think I don't play zombies? It's just boring as fuck. Let me say this. Syndicate, I love your fucking videos. I suck at zombies. It don't matter how many videos put you put up, I will still suck at zombies. <laughs> the thing I try to help people, like, obviously, Wings can be like, oh, I can go toe to toe with zombies. Some people can go toe to toe with zombies. That's why I try to teach people. That's why you try to teach people in multiplayer if you, that's what you do, you know, to teach them. How I give up trying to teach play. people. They, they, they just, I just talk about di their diary shit now. But if we're talking about zombies, we teach about wings. sensitivity and whether I, I use that to get out of a tricky situation. If by the time I'm trying to turn, you know, that's what we were talking about. If I need to get out of a situation and I need to turn to something, I'll turn to a gap that's in the train, then I'll turn and I'll get out of that train. Whereas if I was on a slow sensitivity, knowing from experience, like I said, I'd turn and I'd be like, oh, you know, missed it. Missed that tight gap that I needed to get out with. Hey, and then you I'd know go what, down and then I'd get my perks again, all that shit. I, I've, I've learned that there's a lot of people in the stream who are also better than you, but don't want to prove it. Did you realize how <laughs> bad you were? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, set, setting records is a, is a hard thing. You know, you just got to get used to it. You get, you get everyone calling you out. A lot of people call me out for, you know, playing it. And um, it's actually good because when you hear people, you know, like saying, you know, you've helped me and that stuff, it's great. You know, like you guys are multiplayer, mm -hmm. but anyone will get someone call them out saying, I'm better than you or that kind of stuff. But now once you've learned to like rape train, <laughs> Basically, anyone can go to whatever round they want. I've, uh, I, try to teach I get that on multiplayer, and I don't even run around saying I'm good, right? They're like, what are you, 1v1, yeah. 1v1, I'm better than you. Fine, dude. You're a one yeah, of that's the thing. I will call like, you out. Know. I'm not the person who's going to come up to you and go, you, I'm better than you. Can't you might be. Whatever. Congratulations. I'll tell you what I forfeit. Now go, you know, <laughs> do your thing. Tell everyone that I was scared. Do your thing. No, that, that's you the know thing. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not, I'm not the sort of person I'd rather... Just I, no, I, no, you didn't get that, did you? I wouldn't come up to you and go, "I'm better than you." I wouldn't. I get that. I, I follow you. I'm talking about this hypothetical guy who just... does do it, and oh, uh, yeah. yeah, and and to that guy, you know what? I'm sure you've had. Oh, there was a guy who was really excited about killing me. Like, oh, Woody, I killed Woody. I killed Woody. This is awesome. Oh. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'll add you to the list, right? <laughs> you know, <lots> of <laughs> yeah. you're number twenty-one thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy until I see a sixty game play from you with no downs. Round 60. Kino, go Kino if you want. 60. No downs. Not going to happen. I'm not going to play around that shit 50 that long. How long, how long do you think that would take? You know how long Kino? Zombie holds my attention? To round the 60 fuck? on uh, round, Kino. Round 3 or 4. <laughs> Zombies doesn't get my attention until round 3 or 4. If, if there's one thing that I'd like to change about Zombies, I think it'd be kind of cool if I could resume game. You know, And, and by that I mean, like, you know, for Carry example, you Ascension, you know? Like, I might get into a good spot on round, like, 14. And then getting there again, it, it just seems like work. Like, I'd love to pick it up from that spot and have more than one try at it from there. You know, Ascension is can you pause thing. zombies? Like, I'm just so, from so solo, you can. You can. Yeah. Ascension is a particularly good example because you, like, you start off in the wrong spot with a pistol and it's uh, black and white. And I just find the first 10 minutes of every Ascension game to be more work than fun. Like, it doesn't really kick off to be more The whole, help you the whole that, Zombies honestly. game is, is fucking work. I, I can like, easily help you with that, Woody. Get in from it's like, like playing World of Warcraft. Ascension. Maybe you You could right. be playing it from, like... Well, what's multiplayer, then? Multiplayer? I don't find it right, fun. No. It's, it's my fucking job right now. <laughs> ah, it's my job as well, but I find multiplayer fun, and Zombies even funner. <laughs> uh, I don't even play video games. Last game I got, I played for fun job. was uh, Fallout New Vegas. That that game was fun as shit. Kenzie baby says That's she's with game. me right now. Again. Just for Jumping the record, the desert, she's not with me. She's there's nobody here. <laughs> What's up? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> what do you say? Kenzie baby is this beautiful girl hanging out in our stream, and she says that she's with me. I wanted to set the record straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, interrupted. <laughs> But yeah, so it's just like, if you don't, if you think, you know, like you're amazing at zombies, you know, you, you don't play all the time, do you? I play, I do play zombies. I've played time. six zombies Plays ever there since World of War. So but you've only played is, six games of zombies ever. Six games ever. And I've gotten to 41 on that one stage. Okay, and which technique? Not even you, know what the map. Just on the stage. So you use the Thunder Gun on the stage. Ray Train on the stage. Yeah, this stage is yeah, so like, kind of like, yeah, it's the most common thing. Like I could I could run a rape train in the slight of hand room. I could run a rape train in like the starting room, you know, like where you actually start and can over tow I could do it in the fire trap room. I can even do it in the alleyway. One of the hardest places to do. I don't know what the fuck a rape train is, but well, So <laughs> what he does is he, he basically <laughs> runs around, gets the zombies uh into a I guess a train you could call it, 
and then his when, bullets yeah. penetrate and he tends to like every bullet will hit like eight or ten zombies or something and it's a really yeah. effective way to take them out what so i can i can run a rape train but the difference between tom and me is that tom will sit there and run it without making that one mistake that gets you like double swatted for hours in a row whereas i'll occasionally clutch you know even when i have three friends down and it's a you know multiplayer but I don't, it's like heck it, you know, the game we played together the other day you know i was last i had the rape train kind of all set up i had an ak-74u it was all set i had a whole bunch of guys following me i was just about ready to dump a clip into them and then i don't know like something went wrong was some zombie got a double swat on me and, I, and it was over whereas when tom's in that situation he seems to not make that error and and I guess that's the difference. You'll, you'll learn from playing it like we multiplay. You know, like when we play against the same person again and again, or you know, like just playing against other people, you know how they're going to go. You know how they're going to play it out. You know where they're going to go. You know, like he's going to come through that door, but you know we didn't for like a split second, so I know he's going to go the other way. So I'll meet him on the other way. It's like that with zombies. So I can like move, move like my position on the map a tiny little bit to make the zombie walk one way. I'll go round him. You know, mm -hmm. it's just all about you know like trial and error. You get better at it over time. But obviously, wings got better at been his first six times you know <laughs> you, so. you even called I'm out that there was the going to be a zombie game. there and i had died without knowing who got me so you know that's the thing i'm always I'm like, saying, like, i'm playing people make this mode to be like it's super impossible being good at multiplayer is harder than being good at zombies i'm gonna say that that could be true do you think that's true no, i didn't know i agree with that because it, yeah. it takes like with zombies you can put that much time into it and zombies don't have an like acr zombies, they'll put, well they'll put they're put time into zombies the zombies are predictable right i got it yeah, I mean you can, can you can make a zombie you can make a zombie do what you want to. Yeah, if you've got a good raid friend, it can do whatever. You know, you can you can keep going and keep going and keep going. But when you haven't got like a perfected raid train and you're in a situation where you're running through, you know, the the, the game's just spot started and you're running through door after door after door, you know, they'll spawn in front of you. You don't know where they're going to spawn from, that kind of thing. You know, so it's just like if you haven't got a good raid train and you've not perfected that, you're not going to be you're not not going to do amazingly. You know, if what Wings says, if I said Wings, don't rape train, run the map, run the, <laughs> the map, right, one go a different way. <laughs> or I told him like, go that door, go that door. He'd struggle because the zombie had already spawned in front of him, and if he hasn't got a good enough weapon, he won't be able to take him out. So let me ask when you. When I play this. zombies, oh, do you want to go first? Go <laughs> when I play zombies, the rape train involves me in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then you're doing I, it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously. <laughs> so, Syndicate, let me – like, in multiplayer, I kind of know what people are looking for in a gameplay, right? There are certain rules. Like, you can't use the FAMAS. You, you can't camp too much. You have to run around. Um, I think you're supposed to be an objective player, although that sometimes gets forgiven. Um, that's how you make, you know, multiplayer video after video after video. In Zombies, it seems like you, you must do something to fight the repetitive nature of it. What are the like informal rules that your subs have for making a video good? They've yeah. already seen you rape train, yeah. you know, with the thunder gun on Ascension. That, that, yeah, that's like saying once you've seen one rape train, you know, you've seen them all because that is pretty much the, the simple of it. Once you've seen it done once, you've seen it done like a million times. So you you don't want to see it again and again and again. But like the way I do it is doing challenges. You know, like so if one of you one of you guys would probably do, you know, ah, oh, today I'm going to use, a, you know, like Olympia and like a random set of perks that won't even help you at all. Um, so I like, I'll do, okay, I'm going to do shotguns only, see how I can do, see if I can do a rape train. And then if I've got it perfected, you know, with a rape train or if it is the challenge of I can't do a rape train, then what I'll do there is, you know, I'll just see how far I can get. Or if I go, right, I'm going to go to round 30 today and, you know, just do a round 30 gameplay without doing a rape train, something like that. Or, you know, just doing that sort of different technique that I haven't done before. Because that's what I've seen to doing at the moment, you know trying not to rape train because that does get boring you know like even for me if i was to watch it i wouldn't do it but it seems like the commentaries and the live commentaries that i'm doing people seem to enjoy them so you know people watch them and even when i say would you watch me do a round 60 gameplay commentary you know if i do commentaries over the 10 minute parts and people say yeah i saw a, a video series of yours where you passed like i'm gonna make up numbers but it was like three million five million seven million and eight million and then i think you even ended with like something leap points like one three three seven kills maybe i forget what you ended oh, with. That oh was, yeah. uh, it was like two different series that once like when i got to oh, okay. like 133,700 points mm -hmm. you know so that was that was like one game and then the next game i just went for like a, a world record of points which i set at the time but you know when you set a record it gets beat really fast <laughs> uh, well you know it, it seemed like four days after i set the record it was beat straight away so but you know that's what you've just got to do but I, I was talking to you know you know Mercadurka taylor oh yeah he, um uh i was like you know 8 million, that's like 
unfathomable. And he's like, you know, actually on Ascension, like once you get the knack of it, you can literally play that forever, right? Like, uh, I actually believe like Taylor could probably do that too, you know? Yeah, it's, that's the thing it is when it gets to a point, you know, like when you are a good player at Zombies, you, and you know you're a good player at Zombies, you could hop into a game, you can go to anything. Like I was playing Der Eyes today, and I was just, I was rape training that, and everyone, you know, people are like, oh, I can't get past 20, you know, so you want to help them out, so you'll teach them how to do the rape training, what spot. And, like, I could I could rape train, and it's just, you know, a matter, it just comes to down a, a matter of time, who's got the most time on hands. That's like the, the world record for Ascension that got set was 72 hours gameplay hmm. time. Like, I haven't got that much time, so that's why I'll just do, like, you know, a, a commentary over it. So, you know, like, when you get a gameplay, even if you got a bad gameplay wing, uh, like, wings, or even you would, you know, like, you could do a great commentary over it, couldn't you? And people wouldn't even notice. Have you seen yeah. Monday? <laughs> they would prefer your commentary so much more if it was an interesting commentary or an entertaining commentary than the gameplay because they can go and play that game. They yeah. can go and kill people on multiplayer. They can go and kill zombies. But if you've got a really good entertaining commentary, then people are going to watch it, aren't they? I have a lot of people haters. Like no, fellow no, commentators who hate. It seems, it seems that's what that goes down for me. Like if I posted bad multiplayer... If I posted bad multiplayer, obviously not where I was joking, like where I was like, oh, you know, sat in a corner and not, did nothing the entire game, or mm -hmm. I just played really bad, I obviously wouldn't post that. But if I posted something standard but did a really, like, an entertaining gameplay, which I knew was entertaining, commentary, sorry, and the people that I know, like the subscribers that I've got, enjoyed it. What, what it per se is entertaining commentary? I've always wondered this. Well, the sub like gets to choose that, right? Topic, it, yeah. To me, the sub decides what's good and what's bad, you know, and that's the end of it. it there are other commentators who are frustrated who say, you know, well, I just went. I'm going to make up a number like, you know, 45 and 0, right? If you just won 45 and 0, I'm not talking about you. I don't, I don't even know anyone who just did that. But, uh, um, and they'll say, you know, I, I should have the best channel on YouTube. That was a really great score. And it's like, nah, you're missing it, right? The gameplay is not everything. As a matter of fact, the gameplay is probably only a third of it. The rest of it is the commentary and, and you know, how regularly you post videos and things like that. And, uh, and you know, that's that's the sort of thing that Syndicate's really doing right. You know, is Syndicate great at zombies? No, yes, that, that 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 did not answer my question at all. What is okay. good commentary? Well, like I've I, seen I've seen people personality. Shit, talk, talk personality is about it. That's what it is. Like wings, you could do a really you know like deep commentary about a subject that means so much to you, and if people see the heart you put into that commentary, and you know like the you know the entertainment you're putting into that commentary, and then that's a great commentary, and people like you for your personality. People like these big YouTubers who do vlogs because of the personality. Absolutely. That's what it is. People like your personality. That's why they subscribe to you. You might have the best gameplay, <laughs> and then if you find out you're yeah. a complete dick, they're not going to subscribe to you. Either. You gotta so tell them lick it. Yeah. <laughs> you have fucking to lick, lick my video. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> Um, it yeah, is that, personality. It's it's mostly personality driven. That's absolutely right. And uh, or you know what, there are some channels out there that are really useful, like um, you know, that provide gameplay tips that make you better. I, I like those. There's more than one way to succeed in this thing. But well, I'm not succeeding right now. There's a great now. comment. Someone just put only use my blade. Only use my blade. Knives people again and again and again. You know, they could sprint round knife a person, sprint round knife a person. Someone else can do that sprint round a knife a person. It doesn't take. This is no insult to Only Use Blade. He's an amazing player and an amazing a commentator. But, like, he could, you know, anyone could do what he does by sprinting around and knifing people and do a commentary over it. But their commentary might not be as good as his because he's got a really good way of commentating. Because people like his personality. I'd agree with that. I, so, Only Use Me Blade, like, I think one of the challenges he has with this channel is that his, um, you know, because of the nature of his gameplay, the fact that he only uses one weapon, the knife. Uh, he fights the repetitive thing even more than the other Call of Duty players do. But he's tremendously successful with over 400,000 subs because he has one of the best personalities on the scene. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, me, it's just a whole different thing. I, I try not to be fake. And me not being fake make, makes a lot of people not like me. Not not being fake. Not being fake. So, so you mean I'm, like speaking I've, mind? I've met all the commentators. Woody's the only one that acts like he commentates. I'm gonna start I, getting drunk like it, before my before my commentaries. I'm gonna get loaded. And <laughs> it's the truth. A lot of these guys have fake personalities on their commentaries, and it's like, yeah. okay, that's a good business decision. But I can't bring myself to do that. That's funny. Do... I've met a lot of commentators too, and I don't want to. Trevor and and Taylor act just like they commentate. Yeah, but. Onslaught, I think. I have actually even yeah, I met Onslaught. He's cool too. Yeah, but you, but I will say this you know, without calling anyone out. There are a lot of guys whose um, you know, online personality doesn't match their in real life personality. Heck, you know what, Wings? As I think about it, 
your online personality didn't match your in real life personality. Shit does. No. So my experience with, you know, Jordy as opposed to Wings was that in real life you were much more sensitive, much more caring. In real life you were I, I, like almost uh, gentle sounds like a put down. It's not what I'm going for. But, <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you were nice to everybody. And, uh, you know, there were yeah, – I don't mean to – None of this is meant to be put down. None of this, is, but there was like an endearing level of insecurity, right? You know, whereas like the Wings of Redemption in a lobby is full of bravado. I'm the best player to ever exist. I can beat Syndicate in zombies, right? Like, but the Wings, <laughs> but the Wings of Redemption that I met in real life in Beverly Hills, you know, it, it, like not everything is easy for him. Not everything is so great, it, and and you know he's he's caring about other people, and and you know he was he was true and honest, and he was himself, but. You know, he wasn't, uh, you know, like beat you over the head with self confidence kind of guy at Beverly Hills. Would you lick his face? Well, uh, the one time, yeah. Just <laughs> one time. Wait, 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 wait. You did, or you, or you would? Yeah, but you see me. You see me. At the, you see me at, at the point I almost got in a fist fight th uh, twice on an airplane. I mean. Okay, I wasn't there for that. Yeah, yeah we you didn't. were. You seen the aftermath of it? Like it really affected me because weight's something I've always battled. And then you got motherfuckers ready to fight you because of a fucking plane seat. Okay, so I wasn't gonna detail, but since you brought it up, so so what happens is Wings flew out to L.A. and because uh, Wings is a big guy, he didn't sit comfortably in one seat. And the person next to him, I think on both flights on the way up, yeah, both flights, they weren't nice about it. You know, they acted like Wings was being a jerk or something, and it hurt his feelings. And um, you know that weighed heavy on his mind over the course of the weekend. And that actually was the, invul the the sensitivity or vulnerability that I was referring to that I found endearing, right? You know, Wings is like that. I hope I, I hope I'm allowed to say this. Wings was saying things like, you know what? I feel kind of trapped out here. Like it, it bothers me that I have to fly home and endure this again. I, you know, is there something I can do? He was um he was weighing his options with renting a car and driving all the way from Beverly Hills to South Carolina. If you're in Europe, that's across the the whole damn continent. <laughs> and uh, that's a long fucking drive. It's it that's would be easy. like a five day drive. <laughs> But Wings, you know, he didn't want to endure the, the flight again. And, uh, um, you know, look, so I, I found Wings to be a really nice guy in real life and uh, somewhat endearingly vulnerable compared to, <laughs> like, the guy we just saw on PKA saying, you know, Tom, trust me, I'm better than you at zombies. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Which, yeah, but, I, but see, I really do think that. I mean, like, how many games – if you see me play where I didn't, I wasn't really, really good at. Like I just posted Dead Space. I started playing Dead Space three days ago, and I did the toughest achievement in the game within two tries. Like having having confidence behind yourself is always a great thing. If you go through life going, I'm not the best. Someone else is the best. You know, you're yeah. not exactly. I, I, the best. I know I'm not the you best Call of Duty player. If but, you've got that motivation behind you, just like from having it and not just faking to yourself, like I could go, like, I'm the best multiplayer. You know, even though I know I'm not. I look at it this I'm way. I'm never gonna say like. Like, with multiplayer, I am the best because there's some really good people out there. But with zombies, you can be the best to the standard of you can teach anyone who's never done it before. I look at it like it. this. I'm not the best Call of Duty player, but I bet you if you put me in the same room as the bre as the best, I could hang with him. Yeah. What's I, I never... to as how good they are? I, I, he might beat me, but he ain't going to blow me out. That's That's all I ever care to be. Can we call a guy? Yeah. There's one guy, he gave his phone number, and he said that um, he works on, he's a computer programmer, yeah, and he can, under, yeah, I saw that. He can explain the, the lag and latency in shooting. He, he's going to tell you I'm right, I'm telling you. <laughs> or I'm going to lick his face. No. So wait, how do we get you to lick our faces? Uh Oh. Uh. Put, put the dog collar on, I'll lick the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, uh, you might not pick I, up. I think well, everybody forgot about that. I beat Optic at their own game when I first started my channel. <laughs> answer the phone. Your call has been. All right. I was afraid oh. that it was going to start saying something. Uh, you know, you have just called 919. Wings, do you see yourself as the one of the, well, in your in your eyes, are you the best multiplayer person? Uh, on YouTube right now? Like, is for all games played? I think. Oh, like, are you the best Call of Duty player? Because if you say, think, you know, you, you have that. Like, like commentator, are you the commentator, best? commentator wise. Yeah, what would you say you're the best at then? I'm probably the best, like with online ability commentating, like most consistent player there is. 
See, There's see, a couple other really you're, good you're the ones, best right? Commentator, like, are you the best player? Fear Cred, Mark of J, they're very good players. You think you're better yeah. than them? Yes, I think I have more round, well-rounded skills. I, I'd go with a heartbeat saying I'm better in Fear Cred than Mark of J. Because I've played with them both, and I've seen how many times I've led the lobby over them almost every time. I mean, just because you have a high KD, like Mark of J has a way better KD than I do, mainly mm -hmm. because he plays Ground War. You got to factor in those extra three people, and you got to average those into fucking chopper gunners. That yeah. is a, a big kill increase. If right. I had a ground war KD, if I could use the FAMAS and everything else I wanted to use, hell, I'd have a five KD. I wouldn't prove I'll say that this. on my uh, my Space Orange account. It's got an eight point three five KD. If we uh, if we play comp playlist, I would backpack most people. Yeah, I mean, I can hang with competitive playlist. I mean. I mean, I usually play with Hastro and Tosh right in the well, competitive I, playlist. Do you, do you actually, like, do you honestly camp a lot in your gameplays? Do, is this you what you do? Camp? Like, I, intense gameplay. I, 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 I don't watch your gameplays. That's the thing, so I don't know I how do, well you play. I do what needs to be done to win. That That's like, I'd say you're right in saying doing what needs to be done to win. But is that bringing, like, do you get people say, oh, all you do is camp in your games? Or are people just Dude, used to I can I can rush full out with the MP5K rapid fire and I'll still say so you camped. Because it's like, stopped so the flow. Oh, you played against I don't know. I've, I've lost a lot of potential gameplays because I didn't want to camp, right? Because I'm like, all right, this is going well. I need to get out of here. Instead of earning my chopper the way that I it would be safe, I need to get out of here and earn it some hard way, and then I don't. Like, that's yeah. happened to me a ton, and I bet it never I happens to Wings. I don't even think. Don't even, I do what – the that doesn't enter my mind when I'm playing. It does mine. I, it does. Like, I'm like, when, all right, you know what? When, <laughs> I work my way to a napalm here. I'm sorry to cut you off. And I have an attack chopper, right? Attack chopper can occasionally do work. It's like, but I can't work my way. I, I have to get out of here and do something stupid and get two lucky kills, you know? Like, you know, some guy with bad enough aim that I can come out of a sprint and still win. Because if I don't do it that way, then, you know, it, I'm not good enough. Like it. But uh, you let that weigh on your mind so much. I mean, like, fuck it. I I'll stay in one spot the entire game. I, I posted videos where I've done it. I went 30-0 and 0 on fucking salvage on Modern Warfare 2. I did oh, the M16, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that uh, truck, right? On the, yes. like, the snow plow thing? But you're, yeah. are, you, are you then playing against the person you complain about? You complain about campers. Like, you'll hear a lot of commentators go, I no. hate campers. You know, I hate them. You know, like, He's people complaining say, about oh, the people. Walls, he is like the that. guy that others complain about. So, yeah, so you are <laughs> yeah. the guy that people <laughs> complain about. That's, that's, yeah. that's all I'm trying to say. But I, like, I also like to point out, that I, that I camp all this time, but I usually lead the party. Usually lead lobbies with full teams. Was, is this with kill streaks? Getting your high kill streaks, you know, because you'll yeah. camp, you'll get uh, them kill streaks. Then you'll yes. get that chopper, gun, and then you'll reach the top of the board because you've got you know your other team controlling the map. Pub stopping it's, it, it's, so you know. It's it, just are you best at that. Well, it, it, you're making it sound like I'm a pub stomper, literally. I, like I, I don't play it. MLG, but the fact is, I've played enough with MLG players that. I could easily hang in that in that environment. Ah, right. Yeah, Woody. Like, you've seen how they play, and you know how you play. So you can, so from your gameplay and how well you do, you can, oh, can, can right compare yourself to others. Yeah, there you go. If yeah. I was if I was on an MLG team, the role I would play would be what you call support slayer. That would be the role I would fill. If I was on an MLG team, I think I'd try not to screw it up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Woody, guard the flag. Yeah, what do you want me to do? You want me to camp the, the flag so in CTF? That? You're the one who just like, it just like, let me, let me put it this way. The, the only did? time I will lose Support. online is if I run into a full team and I'm down men and my kill streaks are high and I'm not prepared for the challenge they're about to put on me and they come in there with their counter spy planes going super try hard. That's and even then, they'll wings? barely beat me. That is the thing that beats me most too. Like it, a lot of times when I lose, it's like you know, all right, don't leave, don't leave, don't you know? I want to lower my kill streaks. I want to set up my tack insert. You know, I want to do these things that you're doing, and uh, and make it fair, right? Because I had a, I'll, I'll use high kill streaks, right? I know some guys don't like high kill streaks, but um, you know, I like them because they help me get better scores and people don't fuss about the gameplay. <laughs> so uh, um, that's the reason I use them. I'd rather it's easier yeah. to hold good KDs with low kill streaks. Uh, you might be right. I haven't really thought that through, but it's easier to get standout games with high kill streaks. And I'll run yeah. into players, and it's like, you know what? I I didn't get to my seven that whole time. You know, I might run eight, nine, eleven. If I'm playing against a really strong team, I probably won't even get to that eight one single time. 
So it's like, all right, let's let's redo this. You know, let's reset where I can use the same sort of tools that you yeah, did. Yeah, I can get to that fucking four. I bet you money. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, you think I can't get spy counter on you? That's going to help my whole team. It's going to make a big difference. And if I'm and, playing Modern Warfare 2, I'd be running UAV, count UAV, and then like either Harry's or Prey. Yeah, but you know, see, that's like, the only the time I'll ever get kills. Uh, if, if I'm, I'm Modern Warfare Harry's, 2, going to help the team. Predator, um, Harrier, Pavlo. I, I can get that twice a game, frequently. And but is uh, that is that you going for you know like loads of kills? Is that going for an amazing? Yeah, like, you know, a, a I KD usually game. don't talk about the like I, I talk about the game sometimes, but mostly I just want you know I want at the at the end of the game. Ideally, I have like a forty and four, and no one looks at it and says that was bad. Like that's all I'm going for. You know, just don't complain. And yeah, uh, yeah well, for so. all the people that say Mark or Jay would crush me, here's something to put into perspective. I was playing split screen the other day, and I scored higher than him every game. But Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Wait, Mark you just played split screen? Yeah. <laughs> well, in all the you see ZBC 2001. Ah, some of the best players. <laughs> and Faircrad's, Faircrad's coming in first. And in most of the competitions we've had, them three are the top three players, in my opinion. They can, you've seen the scores they come out with. You've seen the plays they've played against. Them three have been like, I didn't even best. hear what three, but I'm going to guess. Feared the game and Mark or Jay? Exactly. And yeah, I'm pretty sure look, everyone in the, like people in the comments know this as well. Because people yeah. are already saying that when people are saying, you know, no offense, say, you know, Wings is not better than them following three. Yeah, the thing, Wings, if you want, because them three, that red, way, I threw you the extra calls mad for people saying that shit. You have to beat them. You know, if if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Like I that's don't have the, to beat them. I well, beat them so many times in a regular room. And Call of Duty is not a one-on-one -on -one environment. The situation where Fear Crash and all them won the the thing you and Syndicate were in, that's not a realistic scenario. The fact is, it's twelve people on maps that don't, that, that you you have people spawning in front of other people. There was times where I seen like the game three hundred and sixty go on a negative fourteen kill streak. Like I even commented on because I was the one doing the color commentary on that shit. I'm like, the game has died fourteen times in a row now. What they were doing, I'm, I'm gonna give Mark and Jay Wait, was, credit was here. That Mark the first Jay, time round, though, because the Mark second and, one they, they split it up, didn't they? So it was smaller teams. So I didn't even really watch this. I didn't even watch the second one. I only the second watch, one, then know. three came top again. I'm gonna give Mark yeah. credit. Mark did was the best of the three, and that's why he won. But the fact is, people like the game. The game ain't good. He was the pushing game won fucking the second spawns. One, right? The game isn't good. He won no, the second one, good. right? Look here. the The game I is on my good. friends <laughs> list, but he won't even play with me because he cannot hang with the people I play with. He can't Syndicate. get kills. Didn't the game get the? Um, didn't he win the second commentator showdown? Yep. That's pretty good. Yeah, but he was against no, a bunch right. of no names. No, no, they weren't. No, no he wasn't. Names. He was Fear against and Mark J were in Yeah, there. but you get how how often do you run in into there? those two? What's that? Uh, I don't think I've ever played. Oh, no, I played no, Mark a, J. I'm talking about like in a free for all setting with eight people. You don't run into Mark J or Fear Kraz every time you turn the corner. No. You run into fucking you know Private Marine. You run <laughs> into. Yeah, to a bad player, but if they can, if they can play, let me also point. Player, let's all to point top, out that redneck one. Redneck, the, to the redneck top, beat a yeah, shot that. in her bash. Does that make him a better player? Makes no. him a strong player. I don't know. I, I free for all ain't my game. And when that was, first game, you know, the I was raping fates. It's kind of sad, yeah. actually. I'm not gonna claim that I'm better than all these guys until I beat them. I. I I think that's a good policy. Well, by the way, anybody that says, told me to shut up, you're getting banned from the stream. Yeah, guys, knock it off on the shut up thing. Like, you make things worse. <laughs> you know, we're, we're trying to, uh, I don't know, we're talking it out. It's fun. So, just be nice. Be nice. It's the, it's the number one rule. Are you seeing on my channel under where it says subscribe? Be nice, no caps, no links. There's only three rules here. You're breaking the first one. I'm not upset about anything, dude. I gotta take a piss. I just know what I I know what I've been to and I've played with every single commentator there is. Who said Because I've got, I've got quite a lot of friends who you know like in the same frame of mind and it's like there's no change in it. I know you know I am the best and it's just like that's great, but I've played them. They're not. It's end of story. So like I haven't played you. So you I know you'd slam me down in like most of the games, but like I could I could put up a fight against you know in like COD Four and Two World of War, but then throw me in Dude, against Black Ops. You would get I'd destroyed get in World of War. I have never lost. That's the that's the, the most like most common ones I've played, and the most is COD Four and Modern Warfare Two, and I can probably beat you in them two. In all honesty, because if I run <laughs> the guns, I can run any guns I want to run. There's no kill streaks. There's no bullshit going on. What you want to go M16s on Bog right now? That that could go. 
Yeah, you know, I, I would go you know, for it. I would, honest, I would do it. My two you know, I'm, not the, I'm not the person who's like, if I lose, I'm not going to be like, oh, <laughs> you know, I'd do it for the fun of it. I'd go for it. Let's do it. So what map are we playing? I'll get my ass slapped. I know I will, but I'd still do it. The, the thing is, it, it Bog, you said, Wings? Yes, yeah, Bog. bog See, I, I was thinking, isn't Dome the one where, like... Oh, he wants to do World at War? Oh, yeah, we'll do World at War. I haven't got World at War. my disc right now. <laughs> I have World at War. You're stepping into um, Wings' wheelhouse. Like, no, you, I'll pl- you I'll notice- play, no, play Bog, Co- Call of Duty 4, M16s. I'll Dude, I, I, I've i beaten almost every commentary that was willing to 1v1 me in World at War. <laughs> yeah. I, Bog's not on World at War, is it? So that's a COD 4 map, isn't it? Forgive, yeah, me, a map. forgive me while I talk trash for I'll a moment play you, here. I'll play you on COD 4, Wings. But shipment on COD 4 is, is one spot where I perform above my level. Shoot. Check me up, Wings. It is. I mean, but like this, this, this right here is actually this right here is going to prove nothing because Syndicate's going to have my connection. He's going to be oh, playing yeah. across the street. We're I'm game not going to play unless I have host. Game, <laughs> game, done-zo. game done-zo, baby. Ooh. We we do game. Um, we're doing this shit now. You want to go buy the game Dunzo server? Be my guest. No, no, no. I, we can set that up, right? A ready up server? Yeah, if you want to set that up like either. Well, we How can much do it money? Later. We can do it on later tonight, but I'll have to go in the other room. How much money are you paying me? I You're getting none of my money. You can do it for free right now, <laughs> or you can pay me like a thousand dollars later. <laughs> I get paid no, 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 we'll to do the wild no, thing. The thing is, like, I'll, I even went in the commentator showdown against some of the biggest, like, names, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to stand the chance. And like, just because I got spar raped in the other one, in the other two games after that, I was like, fair enough. I got spar raped. I had like a lot of, you know, like a lot of deaths. But in in the first game, I came second against some of the best ones, and I'm not saying like that gives you the confidence to go shouting your mouth off. But you know what? I I, I held my I held my ground on that and I did pretty well. Why are people saying that I'm playing. scared? I'm not even <laughs> playing. Like <laughs> some people are retarded, man. Like Woody's scared. Really? Of what? Am am I scared that like someone else is gonna win or lose a game they're playing? Like it's not about me. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Somebody they, they, I don't know that I don't know you. I don't you know whoever said I was scared, but I'm gonna call it you're emotionally retarded. That's, <laughs> that's that's where you are right there. <laughs> hey, by the way, anybody wants some sub me? Fuck your faggot ass. You a bitch. Don't worry about the stream. They, it, it, let's get back. To... No, that's the thing. Honestly, I, 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 I love about anyway. saying stuff like. like if Woody wanted to say like, Woody called me out on like, if it's multiplayer. When it comes to zombies, you know, you get everyone calling you out on zombies, like everyone, and it's like great, mm-hmm. you know. What do you want to do? Race to points? Because there's so many things that come into take, you know, that can change a game on zombies. But if it comes into a game like multiplayer, you know, like where I'm going to say, you know, you can, someone calls you out and you can actually fully stand up to that persona of, I am the best, then yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. Because it's just fun. Like, I'll go Yo, for it. And if I, I get my hat, if, if I get beat, then I'm, gonna go, any then I'm gonna just going to point to you and just go, he's the best. Well, he no, You know me. the reason I don't do it? Because if I, happen to, if I happen to lose, I hear about it for years. Exactly. So, like, if you lost against me, would you hear that for years? Yes, Probably not, because I, I wouldn't bring it up again. No, but everybody in the stream would, and then they would tell somebody else, and then, then people that don't like me would get to it and start coming to but, the videos saying it. Yeah, but why would you care? But I know I'm, I'm not going to lose to you. But wh- why would you care if you did lose? Like, should, let me tell you, Hutch beat me on Call of Duty 4 on shipment, but he lost to me sure. every other map on the game, and Woody was there to see it. On, on his host connection, he lost badly on every other map in the game. Be- <laughs> I think that's right. That is right. Yeah. Oh, so, so, like, you played one game and then... No, we played that? we played his rules on ship, and I'm like, all right, let's yeah. play other maps. And he got, like, the last game where he finally quit, oh, it was 14-2. So, no, like, so it's his turn. So, like, you said bug. So, like, if we play, if we get a game done, so a game up on bug, you know, we'll just play that out and then... It's as simple as that. So we're using the same set, the same perks. That's what I didn't like about the commentator games, you know, is because they, even it was like I'm on offer two and Black Ops and stuff. Why I think I, 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 think I asked stuff? you? Whoa. I go, I go M16s on Bog. I even said the weapon. Yeah, if it's the same perk, if we're running the same perks, the same equipment, you know, everything the same. Then sure, if it's you know, if, and then if we get an equal connection, then oh, hey. there's no bullshit. Here it's you go. M16 UDG. red dot. Bandolier stopping power, deep impact. There you Come go. On, redneck. I need some practice. Get on. It's 1v1. All right, All right That's then. Big. I'd do that, man. That'd be awesome. Like, honestly, I will I will have you a game of that exact. Don't my, that see, some people are afraid to lose, 
And it yeah. don't matter because at the end of the day, my dick still gonna be just as big. Mine will you know? be bigger than that. <laughs> Wait, I didn't say how big it was. I say just as big. <laughs> Woody's Woody's got confidence in his. <laughs> See, me and Woody, we 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 at the uh, at LA, we shared that we both have a disease called elephantitis. <laughs> Dude, it's like having another forearm. It's it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> another forearm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that out of bed and I stepped on it. You know, if like, I really ow. did, if I really didn't care, yeah, you know what? Step, I could have a knee replacement with it. Um, I actually have a pretty good connection. I could host it. I, I, upgrade, host I used it. to have a terrible connection. All right, what, what which, are you um, two going, or is it me and Wings? I'm, oh I'm no, no, I, I was going to spectate. That way, I could even stream it for the guys here. You do it. I'll have to swap rooms. Okay. Um, what game? World at War, COD Four, Black Ops. COD Four, Bog, if you said. Cut for for bar. I'm spectating. All right. Yeah. Be awesome. Give me a oh, minute. Should we do it now? Uh, oh, should I? Yeah, yeah. We're doing it, we're doing it now. We'll do it. Do it live. Do it live. Do it live. <laughs> I won't be able to talk when we're in there though. Why not? The other well, room. Wait. You could talk via Skype. Oh, no, I know. I can't. Oh, I can't. I yeah, different room. My Xbox is not computer down there. You'll be able to listen. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. Very good. All right. So, guys, I'm gonna go change the CD in my Xbox, and I'll be right back. I won't hang up yes, though. Yes, same here. You join him, Redneck? I'm just going to again. You. Be right back. I'm uh, going to be on a red bar, soon. just so you know. Adios. Okay, who can't see your damn upload, son? Invite me again. I didn't get it. I haven't played Call of Duty all damn day. I need, I need a little warm up. I'll give you a little bit. Let me, let me appear offline right quick. Before there's 4,000 million people joining. I just ran across this awesome picture of my son. He's in the front seat. Check out how awesome he is. Glare. My, my Xbox sounds like a jet engine because I don't have COD 4. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> installed no more. Motherfucker's about to take off. Fucking red bar. There were I two put, bar. There we go. Oh, you put radar on. That is gangster. You are a fucking pimp. Well, I've, it's bog. You can spawn everywhere. You want to do the hill rule or no? King of the hill? That's no, like whatever. like not use the hill because it's not use the hill at all. That's fine. Yeah. I can't fucking hit shit. <sighs> All right, stream. I need to um, cut off the, the me and put on the game time instead. Oh, so, shit. Uh, here we go. We using any uh, grenades? Ah, uh, you can throw your frag. I wouldn't use no stuns. I mean, it's just whatever, really. Ever how y'all want to play? I'm just here for moral support. Honor. U.S. Marines stationed on high alert were given the order to invade the small. Oh. Just as they lay waste to our country. One, two, we three. Shall lay waste to theirs. I need bass to hit me with a frag grenade. <laughs> I like the red bars off now. That should be good. Oh, you one shot at me. Behind the dumpster? You one you one shot at me again. Is the stream still up? Because I turned it off. Uh yeah, the stream is uh Get warm, get warm, baby. I get you. Oh, you got a headshot. <laughs> Wayne's going so hard on me right now. You, for the, for all you, how many people's listening? Eight, nine thousand. Seven. Seven. My wife's a fucking shit, just so you know. 
your wife is? My wife's a shit. Oh. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Look at that fucking that. We got host pro on there, what, Wings. <laughs> Get the doodle through the fence, too. That's the classic. And you all made shot. Oh, man, this is just. Oh, my grenade pro didn't work. All right, Wings, I, I picked you up. Get the spin on redneck. Right. I'm gonna frag grenade you again. That's funny. Oh, you, you ate it like a champ. Oh, you went off the other right way. Oh, why the fuck is there a barrel laying in the middle of the fucking swamp? <laughs> what are we playing to? A hundred. Oh, I didn't mean to call it in. My bad. It's all good. I got a helicopter on you. <laughs> if it kills you, call it in. If it don't, just let it ride. This man's trying to wall bang me. <laughs> Redneck, what's your gamer tag? Uh, same as. Yeah, I said Nick. <laughs> You invite me. Wow, you ate my shot to the chest. You get real. Are you sound whore me? I don't need to sound whore. <laughs> Car bomb. Gosh, darn it. Oh, fuck you. I fucking shot you in the face. I Z E D neck. Yeah, the I and the Z are together, and then space is between the Z and the E and the D and the N and the E and all that shit. Oh, for goodness. Aren't you a grown up? What the hell's wrong with your gamer tag? Yeah, the R is not taken, dog. You can't get the R from the original Xbox, you know? That hurt. Oh, God. People are sending me friend requests too quickly for me to send you one. Hang on. I'm ready whenever you do. Well, yeah, I see your, I see your point. Hang on. So I Z together, then everything else is spaced. Yeah. All caps. Yeah, y'all should use y'all should use deep impact too, wings. Whatever, dude. Can you join wings? Join and then you can join his gaming session. I'm not gonna be able to send you an invite tonight because yeah, it's hard. It's hard to do. I went 51% on rednecks. Not the best, not the worst. <sighs> Wings and sec, accept that invite. Invite me, daddy. I want to watch. Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and just lick my fucking LCD. Just... <laughs> I'm gonna keep in mind that Redneck did dump like five grenades on my ass. Yeah. Oh, wings. Is so, uh. Um... My shot ain't that. My, my shot ain't that bad, is it, Redneck? Oh, your shot's on the nut. Your shot is on to nut. So we can't hear Syndicate talk, but him, like in game maybe. I don't know. So, uh, Redneck, I sent you an invite. I got it. I'm, I'm here. Oh, you're here. All right. And now yeah. I need to pick up Syndicate. So I'm just gonna. Be... Uh, let me pee pee. <laughs> So we can get some more people to watch this shit. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, that's a good piss. Oh, my, my KD is not that good on this account. You have get 121,000 nips. All right, so I think Syndicate can hear us, and um, it's Chuck Shack play too. Oh damn it! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start that game. I'll end it. Um, what is it? M16 bug, bandolier. Yep. Yeah, stopping power, deep impact. Okay. No stuns. No stuns. Well, I mean, you, can, you can. You just got one. Those don't rot. Yeah, bandolier only. Let me change my third perk. There we go. I'm ready. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Hit. I'm gonna put it in your back lot. Do I have to run deep impact? I thought it was just me and me and Syndicate. Uh, yeah, it was. I, I guess maybe you guys go first, and then we'll uh, change other stuff later. I was gonna jump in. I invited myself, but uh, we'll, we'll stop that. Um. I use Bob because it's the most wide open map. It actually tests your shot anywhere from more than just close range. All right, so we're going to start this. I think everyone's going to spectate except Wings and Sin. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spectate. Here we go. I got my sexy ass blue camo. Who do I watch? Who do you know? Let's watch? do this, Marines. Right now I'm watching Marines. Nope, so he gets in here. Alright, so. How do I go to this Yo. guy? Uh, he should probably, should, probably should have parade our arms. I can sit there and be a bitch with a sound horn now. Go to change team. Change team, buddy. Okay. There is a thing that is fed. Just. Oh, he's using the heal on me. I didn't go to spec, dude. That's the change team. Oh, come on. All I can see was his head. Yeah. Whoever gets the trash pile on this map, pretty much gonna. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm still playing with the redneck rules on. This is actually a pretty good show, I think. I got the yeah the spectate here. I think it's. Are you watching the stream at all? Yeah, it looks good on the on the stream. Except my yeah. beautiful red bar. <laughs> basically, basically yeah. he has the advantage right now because he's using the trash pile. Yeah, normally when we play like friends, we always say no heal, just yeah. because. Because <laughs> if, you, if you stay there, you can control the spawns, yeah. So he left the hill. He might have heard that and started playing by your rules. He can't talk. Yeah. He's only up to one. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job of uh, showing me. And pro syndicate goes prone, face down, ass up. That's the way he likes to fuck. How about that? Yeah. I should be doing it. I should be doing it better. <laughs> and Syndicate's up three to one. Shots on target. Shots on target. Went four to one. Four to one. Wings, you can mute me if you like. <laughs> oh, oh, Syndicate goes down. Wings of Redemption closing the lead by a little bit. Wings of Redemption takes the trash pile. Now Wings of Redemption has the trash pile. We'll see if he can make good use of it. Syndicate's using flaming dumpster. They see each other. Lines are up. Oh, since shots on Syndicate. Syndicate heals. Oh, jumping. Jump high. There's no dolphin dive in spot four. Oh, Syndicate down. Four to three, four to three. Anybody's game. Miracle Nade almost hit its target. Oh my oh! god. Oh, he hit the pipe oh, Miracle Nade. Black Ops, that wouldn't even have touched him. You know? <laughs>
Nobody on the trash pile. Uh-oh, Wings knows where he is. Does Syndicate know where he is? Game on! Syndicate gets the shots on target. Six to three, Syndicate. I feel syndicated. <laughs> I am, oh, oh, here it is. We've got the show. Syndicate gets another kill. Oh, I don't think Syndicate knew where Wings was, but he does now. Give me up. Good oh, lord. Syndicate up eight to four. <laughs> Yo, everybody in the stream, tweet out Twitch TV Woody's gamer tag. Get the views up. <laughs> that was a lot for a live stream. How many live streams you you see when there's actually people playing just for the hell of it, you know? Uh. Syndicate Rock in the 10th Prestige showing that he is no COD 4 noob. <laughs> is he still sitting over there, just crouching? I'm sorry, I can't tell you where he is. <laughs> that wouldn't be right. Yeah, you're supposed to put radar on on these things. Okay. Well, that, that, you know, we didn't talk about that until the game started. Five and a half minutes to go. Why is there a timer on it? <sighs> I'm pretty sure. Supposed to be first to 100. 100? Yes, it's, it's 20 kills. Oh, 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 it's to 150. It's set to uh, whatever that is. 15. Damn it, Bobby. I'm going to teach you how to sell propane. I could play like a bitch like he is, but I ain't got the time to do it now. I think Syndicate's been watching some of my videos. That's it. I think Syndicate uh, has been watching my videos. Not only is he no longer suicidal, but he's winning in Call of Duty. I'm taking credit for both. <laughs> He's been picking up girls lately. Look here, let me, let me, why don't you go and make a comment that there's not been a shot fired in almost two minutes because Syndicate's laying on his belly somewhere. No, he's not. He's Headshot. The dome ski. I want to shoutcast this, but I'd be shoutcasting everybody's positions in the yeah, game. Yeah. And you'd be doing it in my ear. Yeah, I just realized that. I was, I was only getting crunk, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about we end this shit and just go ahead and cut the radar on? Alright, I lost Syndicate. Did he Skype me? I can't find him in the... Dude, he's just fucking hiding. Look, I'm looking at the fucking map right now. Where's he at? Oh, I see him, I see him. He's not hiding, he's looking for you. I'm standing on the fucking open. He, he can't see this because he's too busy laying on his belly half the time. That's not true. Like, we can all see what he's doing. He's, he's hunting for you. Yeah, he's not doing a good job. Well, he's not going to... See, I wouldn't have to worry about this if radar was on. I know exactly where he's at, and it'd be a gun-on-gun -gun confrontation. Now I gotta worry about getting first shot on because M16's a one-shot on this shit. Oh, clutch yeah, grenade! I, I saw that coming, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's clutch. 
Job, aren't I? Yeah, it's looking <laughs> good. See, I'm, what I'm seeing right now, the way that Syndicate and Wings are playing together, proves to me nobody's stream watching. Like, I've seen Wings, I, I guess it's fair to say, falsely accused Syndicate of playing, and really not playing. And I've seen Syndicate looking in totally the wrong direction. Yeah. You know, they're, they're playing straight up. I'm just glad I'm just glad they're playing because there's a lot yeah. of people there's a lot of people that would not play that was just like yeah I probably won't be on painkill already again <laughs> I uh yeah I'm with you right now I play too you know I don't I don't always win but I'm there you know yeah. you, like you, commentator showdown goes on like I knew that was a tough lobby to do well in but I was there Wings, did you spawn in? I'm, I broke my controller. You broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking faggot. Oh, Wings, I've oh, been man. in your I know it's Oh, I don't fucking days. suck. Fucking faggot. Fucking shit. Yeah, we've all been there, man. Fuck you. Me? Why the fuck you stream that shit? It was your idea. No, I didn't say stream it. Yeah, I thought it was your idea. I'll play. Right, Nick, I'll take you. You ready? Damn. Yeah, I'm not no sound whore. I'm gonna have my Riddler. PC yeah, I headset on. actually don't have any sound at all. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to download. I'm in the state. All right, so Syndicate, leave us alone. I'm going to go up against Redneck. Please go. Please go. Oh. Three for all. We're using the same stuff. Uh, yeah, MC yeah, I'm using please, please cancel the stream. It's just me playing, Wings. I don't give a fuck. Please cancel the stream. I do not want to hear these fuckers talk. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. I uh, uh, to help out my friend Wings here. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks for coming, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. I think. So. Oh wait, wait. The room's in. You know what? We... All right. I'm gonna cancel the stream. I'm going to cancel the stream. Wings asked for it, and uh, um, sorry about that. Have a good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, have a nice day. Peace. Uh, are, we, are we private now? Not yet. <laughs>